We're here at uh, Walt Disney World. Yeah, we're at Epcot. We're right inside the Rosen Crown. Uh, it, the sky's just opened up. It rained for a little bit. We have a little break. It's a drizzle now. So you can see we have the wonderful Rockets here. Lady. Mary Kate is here. Uh, we have a whole crew. Eddie and Annette's here. Kenny, uh, Ray. We have a whole bunch of people. Alan's here. Uh, Lauren might be joining us. Fingers crossed. But while there's a break, we're going to walk around Epcot because it might rain a little bit more. We'll see it what happens. It looks like the bottom's going to fall out of the sky again. So. Yeah. So we're just going to enjoy it and have as much fun as we can while we're here. Uh, hit the like button. Let's get into it. Let's have some fun. We. Andy's here. Look at this. We got Annette, Alan, Kenny Soraki. You guys know him, okay? And Ray's on the phone. <laughs> oh, hi! And the baby. <laughs> All right, are we walking in the Drizz? Yeah, we're walking in the Drizz. The Drizz. Yeah, I just cut off words that seem cool. I love you. You're so yeah. cool. So hip. <laughs> <laughs> walking in the Drizz? Walking in the drizz, you know? Yeah, that's what all the cool kids are saying, right? <laughs> that's my next Instagram. Guy. They, uh, <laughs> what? Whoa. What? What was I just watched something? It was so funny. Oh, what did I just watch? But he's like, Yo, you want a piece of Zah? Oh, Parks and Rec was out at the hotel one night. And he's like, You want a piece of Zah? I was dying. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I know. It's not me this time. It's early in the day. Mike Graney, what's going on? Great to see you. Congratulations on your engagement. That Remy has a rain jacket. What? Where? Oh. Too far away. It's been so long. Big shout out to everybody who's here early and on time. Maddie, Big Cat, Tomorrowland Traveler, Stephen Noon, Moogle, Janelle, John Thorne. John, you will be in uh, tomorrow's video from our road trip. So will Kenny Siraki. So will Ox. We had a bunch of people in uh, that portion of the road trip. Moogle, what's going on? Yeah, we have a little bit of weather. You can see the skies are a bit gray. We're hoping the system moves north. It's moving northeast. And we just need it to go a little further north. And it should miss us. But if not... We'll if not, we party in the rain. We'll just yeah. be drinking in the rain. Shout out to TLOS. What's going on? Phenomenal Brady in the house back in the United States. Colin, what's happening? Izzo, great to see you. My man Pete, it was great seeing you on Long Island. <laughs> Pete, bring your slicker and drink some liquor. Crystal, what's going on? Good afternoon. <laughs> Taking a walk. Taking a walk. Bring your slipper and drink no, 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 he said he's taking a walk in the drizz. Taking a walk in the drizz. Hi, Dawn. We got Dawn here, Penny B. It's still um in the upper 80s, lower 90s, but it does, it is raining. First day of summer. Happy first day of summer, everyone. Mark Mueller's in the house. You'll see there's like barely any lines for any of the booths. Some of the booths closed down during the rain. Flower and Garden Festival still going on right here at Epcot. We're in the international uh, area. We just passed the International Gateway. We're walking through Paris. We're here in France. Parlez-vous. Parlez-vous français? Les vins des chistes de France. Hey, I got to reiterate though. Reiterate it. Don't, don't get that drink over here. What was, oh. that, what was that drink? No, I'm, I'm unless you're into figs. It was the fig. I think they have a fig margarita, or Whatever a fig, or a fig mojito, Whatever or a fig. It was, I think it's an M. It's got to be margarita mojito. Like, it was like one of the worst things. Well, if you're into figs, I can get it, but I'm not a fig person. It definitely is a. It an takes acquired. over your palate. It's an acquired. Taste. An acquired taste. Just like me, I'm an acquired. Just taste. like me too. Amen. <laughs> la isla fresca. They're currently doing work on the bathrooms in the UK, so they opened up the bathrooms in the International Showplace, that uh, kind of secret building back outside of the World Showcase, which in my opinion is some of the best bathrooms at Epcot. So a good time to be here, in my opinion. In your opinion. Uh, also, there are no barges here anymore, depending on the last time you've seen Epcot. You can see across, you can see all the pavilions. There's Mexico and China and Germany. It's so exciting. 
Let's just hope they let's hope that they add to the the world showcase now. Bring in Rio like they originally planned. That'll be fun. Hey, they need to. I'd enjoy it. Oh, a little Rio action. Yeah. Duran Duran can play there instead of all the festivals. Hey. hey. Oh, what giant lift. I don't see a giant lift anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way there's a giant lift right there. What a perfect setup they got going there. We're going to need a go-away green tarp, stat. <laughs> and a bunch of planters. Yeah. We need all the planters as high as you can get. It's a really short. And a green tarp. It's a new planter box with the crane in it. Epcot is going through some ch -ch -ch changes, but according to Disney, a lot, I, I would say in like a year from now, Epcot should be a pretty nice place to be all the time, you know? That you're going to be uh, hopefully back around, huh? I mean, huh? there's some questions. But the, what I call the spine, that middle section of Epcot when you walk in should be done. Yeah. They're doing work on Canada. They, you can see the scaffolding on the side of the building over there. Just a lot of... A couple small projects, a couple big projects, and they all should wrap up in the next 12 months. Two. So they're supposed to be adding two pavilions. So well, also, I'm just talking about the old, uh, the one next to Guardians. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which has just been sitting there empty <laughs> forever. Yeah, they're they're supposed to be the Play Pavilion, but then I guess it was canceled, yeah, postponed, so then canceled, then postponed, canceled. Then canceled. Yeah. Um, I keep hearing the word on the street is, is that they're gonna that they're gonna tear that out actually and put something out, like what? a ride or something. They just there. refurb the whole building. I know, but the thing is, is that the the cost to maintain it. The spending at Epcot yeah. is absolutely insane. The fact that they spent all those money on those barges. To tear them down. Just to tear them out. Oh, and now a whole oh god. Well then the other the question is is what they should have done is they should have taken those barges and put them in Animal Kingdom. That was my, what I said many times, my friend. They should. They, Take one or two, throw them over in the... Because there's no show right now going on at Animal Kingdom. They could have done everything. They could have done the same exact show. Yeah. There. With it's one perfect. Barge. They just don't do the fireworks because they don't do fireworks at Animal Kingdom because of the animals. Yeah. But, yeah, put those over there in the Rivers of Light slash... What are all the shows that have been gone through there in the last like three years? The, the, uh, the kite show. The kite show, <laughs> which is my favorite. The <laughs> so symbolic of what Disney was going through at the time. Oh, it, it was the best. Who's playing tonight? Uh, Foreigner's Journey? Oh, those are both two great bands. Like we just did Guardians. We got Iran, which is my favorite song in Guardians. Oh, it doesn't really come across on camera. Yes. Foreigner's Journey. I'm into it. I love Foreigner. I love Journey. I worked, uh, I DJed a 5K a few weeks ago, and I just, the guy just hanging out next to me the whole day, and only was like, play more Foreigner, play more Foreigner. I'm like, I could only play so much Foreigner at this 5K, sir. <laughs> and then it becomes. Yeah, I can't, it's not a concert. It's not a listen party. It's not an album release. Oh, you're not, you're not that kind of. I'm like, I love Foreigner too. I'm like, I don't think you get it. I'm into it. But. But you drew a line <laughs> I'm like, but maybe, you know, all the runners aren't into Foreigner. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It was also 6 a.m. <laughs> Standing in a puddle of mud in Florida DJing. Hey, you know, Another band that I could have played. Voice of Liberty. Wait, let's see if we're... Uh, no. Nah. Oh, they might be finishing their last show. You want to watch the last show? You guys want to watch the last show of Voice of Liberty? They got 10 minutes left. We gotta watch a little VOL. Annette's gonna be all about it. She's there. <laughs> we may have lost her. <laughs> Brandy, the runners all had double vision. If for any reason we lose service before I go in, I don't want to interrupt their show, just hit refresh. Uh, I'll switch from Wi Fi to cell service and back and forth to give you the best picture because inside here, it, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's questionable. We're gonna go check it out. Yeah, you can now. They changed the rules, you can now. How's it going?
I love the voice of Liberty. Oh, they're the best. I got it. You're too nice. Good spot for air conditioning or a cry. I see we had some new people come in uh, to the chat. Welcome to anyone who's new. If you uh, would, we would be honored if you would subscribe. We do fun stuff all the time, tons of travel videos, and a lot of Disney World content coming your way. We're finally back in Orlando. We've been away for three weeks. We were away for two weeks before that. A lot of stuff happening in our lives. But there's a ton of road trip videos coming out from Florida all the way up to New York, upstate New York, to Long Island, and back down to Florida. And now we're back in Orlando. So we're going to be in the parks today, tomorrow, Friday, live streams all three days. So make sure you hit that subscribe, hit the bell, hit all notifications. You don't miss anything. 
We don't spam or anything like that. We just have good times, positive energy. We have an amazing crew. We have a fantastic Discord, which Izzo mentioned. Check out the Discord, the link's down below. And we're gonna have some fun, we're here. And look who's here! Yay. Lauren's here! Hi. Yay! Thanks, uh, Keg? <laughs> Just handed me a bag. Sorry. You? We have a whole crew today. If you missed our intro, we got Kenny's here. There's Andy, MK, uh, Ray, Allen. A bunch of people are here today. Where'd they go? They're over there. All right. Um, but I'm going over there. So am I. All right, so I'll go with you. I want everything. Everything. I want it all. And I want it now. All right. I love it. Solid strategy. Yes. That's why Andy was so nice to come here for you. He said, let's do it for Lauren. In tomorrow's Rocher video, we visit this guy. I want it all. Guys, there's no one here. Tobin's and Kim are just hanging out. What are you, take a number like a deli? What's going on? Well, good, how are you? Yes, I'll refresh. Hold on one second. If it's blurry, I'll change it right now. Everybody, hold on one sec. Refresh. Don't go anywhere. I'm, I'm switching it up from Wi Fi to cell. Take that too. Laura, you got one for me? Three. There we go. No? Not in Texas, we don't. I don't like it. Go full right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. We're going to get there. Y'all can do like regular. Kenny's a trooper. Vodka yeah. soda with lime juice. My tummy's got to get in. She did. She zoned I, I you did out. It. It's okay. I, I did I did bought it. I had a lot of fun. I said, I said, I'm just doing a loop around that top, not getting any drinks. I don't. Half shy, I'm like, I'm out of tips. Gotta get one. It was done before Morocco. Vodka soda with lime juice. Happy came. I like your well, I, I know. Yes. I waited it out, and then I was like, okay, this is, like, walkable. It was raining sideways yeah. before, like, to rent. So we waited for a little break. Yeah, I was like, I'm not doing that. While we hear, uh, doing that. While we hear uh, grab us some drinks, I have to say hi to a bunch of people. Also, can I get um, a couple of water? Oh, I see you. Oh, that's right, right. Way better than ours. I have my godson's room at a temper tantrum room in Hollywood Studios. I'm very glad I'm here. Sink water. Uh, so, like, it almost makes you feel like. How many are in your group again? I was trying to remember it earlier. So, Mike, my buddy Mike, who you know, is yeah. over and um, just hanging around Crescent Lake. Yeah. And then my friend Carl, who you also met, and his wife and um, two kids are in Hollywood okay. Studios. I'm gonna go try. I told him I'd meet him outside of Rise at 5:15. So I'm not hanging forever. Right, cool. It's gonna be real bad. No matter what we'll yeah, see. I'll see you tomorrow, Friday, Friday, Friday for sure. Until yeah. you're not gonna be able to like. Oh, then I'm leaving. Like yeah, yeah, it's like at like seven. There's no more like dodging the rain. Yeah, that's a perfect time for me to leave too. You never know, guys. Oh no, I know about this. One. All right, well. I looked at the radar. I'm just, I've been telling everyone that it could move north, Tobin. I'm trying to stay positive. My brother, my brother, I would normally agree with you, especially after yesterday, but after looking at it, it's the size of the state of Oh, I know. I saw it. I saw it. I know what's coming. I am, it, I am supremely optimistic. This stuff that's really, really south is way worse. Yeah. No, this isn't bad. Like, it's going to rain, but it won't be like, it's going to be way worse in other areas. Like flooding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so great to be back here in Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go to Via Napoli for dinner and I'll be good. There we go. We'll hide out in there. We'll hide out in there. Thanks again, Tobin. Appreciate it. No, you can chuck that. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Andy. I was Andy, what are you doing? Thank you, man. The funny thing is, I saw the actually that's kind of perfect via napoli because the show's at 5 30. we watch the show here we walk over to <laughs> yeah i'm just saying we could come watch the first show of garden rocks tonight yeah foreigner and journey it's 8 15 so we've got enough time Reservation's not till 8 15. eight i think it's what 8.15? Oh my god. All right. Oh, I might have to eat before that. Oh, well, we're definitely going to have to eat something. Before. little snacky poo? A little poo-poo snack. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Tiana. Winnie the Pooh. Of course, 100%. By the way, Tiana, unaffected by the rain, looks fantastic. But she's not next to the old Splash Mountain. 
She's here while they're working over there. It's brilliant. It's time management. <laughs> she doesn't have to be there in the rain. They're not even working. Magnolia Terrace, no line right now. I want it all. Yeah, there's open tables. We could share. We could share tables. A little table. You guys. Hello, what'd you guys get? Uh, we got a Texas mule. I think people got different things. I MK mind. claims she doesn't like gingers, but she so she didn't get a mule. MK hates gingers. Oh, that's insulting. So insulting. It's okay. Tell them something they didn't know. It's actually it's factual. Like it's fine. it's the it's truth. Right. It's actual. No, it's satisfactual. <laughs> I was never talking about the ingredient. Uh, we're here hanging out in America. Let's see what Magnolia Terrace is slinging for flowering garden. I like this entire pavilion. This muffaletta panini is fantastic with the ham, salami, mortadelle, provolone, Swiss, olive salad. The spicy chicken gumbo is very good. I'm not normally a spicy person, but I really enjoyed this dish. The crawfish pie was good. Uh, bread pudding, a little sweet for me, a little heavy, but if you're into desserts, I'm pretty sure you'd enjoy it. The Bayou cocktail is okay. Uh, again, very sweet. A lot of uh, juices, fruit punch juice. Uh, so, yeah, sweetness like crazy, but if you're into that, sure. And then a few decent beers. Central 28's not bad. The Wicked Weed's pretty good. And the Parish Ghost of the Machine Double IPA is my favorite. Or you could do a beer flight for 10 bucks. Not too shabby at all. Let's see if we can find the table over here. I also got to... Let's catch up with some chat. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. It really does help. If you're new, consider subscribing. We have a ton of social... Uh, you can follow me on all the socials. We have a ton of stuff going on in the Discord. And a lot of content coming your way over the next two weeks so you want to make sure you're subscribed and you don't miss a thing here's my awesome group of friends and i'm going to catch up with, with some chat here while we wait for some people who are in the restroom the america restrooms another great restroom here at disney lots of stalls plenty of room for everyone rarely a line it's kept very clean i recommend you guys getting out of here all right sweet I'm going to take a load off right here and talk to the people. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah. Is that a scrub daddy on that table? What is, is it really a scrub daddy? You don't have to touch it. I'll just, oh my God, that's amazing. That's so good. You got a BYOSB or SD? BYOSD? <laughs> now, they're not paying for this video, but you know what? I will say they're a Shark Tank company, so I, I like it. There's an emoji on the table. <laughs> All right, there's, I know where one is. All right. They brought a banana? Yeah. So basically, what, so what we do is... I was like, that'll fit my fanny. That's my fanny. Yeah, that's a nice banana you got there. We do. Oh, like a whole banana. She's got a banana in her fanny. It's not even just the tip. It's all in there. Sorry. It's blurry. All right, we're going to switch back to style phone or back to Wi-Fi. Don't go anywhere. Hit refresh. I'm going to switch it up. They said it's blurry, so we're going to switch it up. All right. Is it better now? Let me know. If not, I'll switch back to the other way. While I get the opinions of everyone, to make sure you have a crystal clear stream. Again, the reason we switch it up is I want to bring you the best possible contents I can from the Disney parks. And sometimes you walk in areas where there's bad cell phone service, or sometimes when the Wi-Fi is a little bit sketchy. So as long as you guys let me know, you keep hitting refresh, I will give you the best possible picture it says much better 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 okay awesome also if you hear in the chat i try to catch up with you guys as often as part possible especially when we have little stops like this with a large group we do a lot of stops uh, but it's an awesome group a very fun group so it's a great day to come back to the parks tomorrow again we're in hollywood studios friday uh we're in magic kingdom then epcot simple plan is playing epcot friday it's gonna be a lot of fun tomorrow also might be a twofer on thursday 
you're gonna get uh, part two of our road trip video and a live video from Hollywood Studios. So tomorrow, big day, two videos. Make sure you check it out. Uh, part two is completely done being edited. It's already there sitting in YouTube. I was gonna do it today, but I just figured we go live with you guys and hang out today. Tomorrow will be a twofer for Thursday, Friday, another video. And then uh, maybe over the weekend or Monday, we'll drop part three of the road trip. Um, all right, so we went back. Let's catch up. Who did I not say hi to? Who did I respond to? Go Linda B, what's going on? Great to see you. Yeah, where has Andrew been, Mike? What's going on with that? Uh, Chris says, I'm sure it doesn't feel like the first day of summer. I mean, I'm sweating. The rain and the cloud, uh, cloud cover has been very nice. Rebecca Dolan, thank you so much. Just welcome back. Pete, so good to see you. Paige is in the house. So we'll be there in 60 days. Can't wait for a beer at the Rosen Crown. We just came from the Rosen Crown. Uh, hopefully, if I'm in town that week, we can grab a beer together. Jason, what's going on? Says hi, Pete. Jamie in the house says hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late. No worries. We're happy to have you here. WDW Max, what's my man? Hi, Pete. We met Max over at the Magic Kingdom a few weeks ago. Yeah, have some. Uh, oh, Izzo, thank you so much. Izzo just sent uh, 15 bucks uh, through Cash App for a welcome back drink. Thank you so much, Izzo. That means a lot. I definitely could use it because uh, I know. Three weeks of making no money just spending it has been a bit rough. Yes. You want me to pause it? Mute it? Pause it? Hold on one second, guys. I'm told I have to mute. We're back. Okay. Hope everyone enjoyed the Voice of Liberty. I love the Voice of Liberty. They're one of my favorites. When I saw they were doing the last show of the day, we had to run inside and see it really quick. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Good to see Max. Like I said, Shelly's in the house. What's up, Shelly? Voice of Liberty should do a little foreigner. I mean, I would love it. I kind of liked, I mean, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, I used to do live videos uh, for WWE News Today, and then we started our channel. When we came out of the pandemic, it was just like the Voice of Liberty on the stage here at Epcot, and they would do all these awesome uh, covers, and Disney songs, different and different shows. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. And that's okay. You can do that. Uh, Carissa, I'm assuming it's Carissa, unless it is a hard CH or a soft CH where it's Carissa. But it says, hey, everyone, I'm new here, and we're so happy to have you here. Kathy Smith says, howdy, missing you guys. We missed you, Kathy. Thanks for coming back. We have an awesome community here. Again, go check out our Discord. Follow all the socials. All the links are down below. Big shout out to all the Patreons. Really have uh, been so amazing. Even though we've been so busy the last month and not bringing too much content uh, between... Well, I don't know, my father passed away, but we had a, a, a lack of coverage and content then. And then during our road trip, it was just so busy with trying to get everyday work done and driving and doing all the road trip activities uh content kind of dropped off but the patreons you guys are so amazing no one has uh left at all which is amazing and now we're gonna come back we're gonna hit you so hard with content again we're going live today tomorrow the next day tomorrow two videos tons of videos next week so thank you so much also i did a comedy show in new york uh while i was away and we recorded it i'm thinking about putting pieces on the patreon we'll see what happens also our patreon monthly zoom calls next week so I'm so excited to see all you guys again Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, so who else we got hanging out with this us? This is who I used to be. Jason Meckis, what's going on? This Jeremy, what's I up? Says, good channel, I approve. Thank, thank you, Jeremy, I appreciate that. Okay. Shelly, thank you for posting the link to the Discord. That's who I used to be. Neil, thank you so much. Just welcome back, it's so nice. And thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna say it's Carissa, but if it is Carissa. Carissa said, I just subscribed. Thank you so much. We're so excited to have you here. If you're a new subscriber, let us know. We'll give you a shout out here. To be fair, don't still remember the bartender yet. Yeah, Tobin is there a no, lot. Uh, we, we enjoy a nice cocktail here in the uh, America Pavilion. The American Adventure Pavilion, technically. Again, thanks everybody who lets me know when we need to switch it up between cell phone and Wi Fi. I want to give you guys the best picture possible. Dilo, thanks so much that I shared the stream. Does anyone else have a family member or friend that you could share with? What a great idea. Thank you so much. Coach, what's going on? Coach N in the house. Hi, Matthew. Kent, good afternoon. How's everything? Hey, chat. Love it. Love everyone talking it up. 
Jeremy said, I love that huge pizza via Napoli. Yeah, we have a reservation for via Napoli tonight. We'll be there. I'm staying here at a park closed tonight. I don't know how long we'll keep the live going. I'm going to keep it going until I can't. And by that, I mean if the rain is so severe or the content gets too boring, then we'll shut it down. But otherwise, we're going to keep this rolling. And you can see all the adventures of all these crazy, beautiful people. Look at this beautiful table. But yeah, I'm hoping we can keep it live until the show tonight. 5.30, uh, Journey Foreigner, here at the uh, American Gardens Theater. Dawn, I know, how funny is that? She's gonna be like, somebody, Dawn wrote, someone's gonna be so bummed when I look for their scrub daddy and it's missing. And it's sitting here at the American Pavilion. Yeah, I did my little faux pot Good to see you, Neil. Hi, Linda B, great to see you here. Josh, what's going on? So we're going to Disney World in June. That's so exciting. I mean, I think that's now. So it's got to be soon, unless it's next year, which is a lot of fun. Love a good countdown. Little Bit, what's going on? Says, hey, how are you? I wish you a happy late Father's Day. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Uh, we weren't live that day, but uh, it is a hard job being a father. So shout out to all the dads out there. But a little bit, 4th of July is coming, yeah, we have a big 4th of July coming up, very exciting. I'll be uh, DJing a race in Winter Park or Winter Garden. Uh, there's a 5K, the Watermelon 5K, and then we're driving over to the coast. We'll be uh, hanging out with some friends and my cousins uh, over on the East Coast, down in the West Palm Beach area for 4th of July. So if you're in that area, say hi. Shelly, post the links, thank you so much, Shelly. You can see the links to my uh, Twitter and all the other socials there. Like Jeremy said, I enjoyed your New York walk in the Lone Park. We had a lot of fun. If, if you're following the socials, you saw some of it. But if you missed it, the videos are all coming out. Part one's out now of the road trip. You go check it out after this. Part two comes out tomorrow morning. Shelly's got the Instagram out there, the Patreon, all the links. Kids are crazy 100s. It's uh, always just like a party with you guys. I love it. We always have a good time. We're here at Disney celebrating. How can you not have fun? It's always a party. That's, we always have a terrible time. That's, <laughs> that's a Ray that's fact. A that's a Ray fact. 100% that's a Ray fact. But yeah, of course we always have fun. Absolutely. Yeah. How can you not have fun? I'm just really glad that you're back. I'm sure they're I'm glad. very happy I'm back. And with all of you, I said, what a fun way to come back with this awesome group. And you're wearing a brewery shirt. We've gotten so many breweries. I love coffee The first crush of it. Little bit. Turn it up. I really enjoyed myself today. Lauren injured herself. I laughed. Lauren went back. Lauren. Lauren goes to the gym all the time, never injures herself, except just giving herself bruises. Today she took a one hour nap. She's ruined. My kids are my neck. She's ruined. Why does my neck hurt? Looking up the TV and 50s Oh, I love those TVs. I love those TVs. The best part is me and Mike are the only Disney people at the table. Like all the other people are just visiting. Walt comes on the screen and I go, I wonder what he's about to say right now. He's just opening Disneyland. Disneyland is your land. If I, would, I should just do that monologue whenever I just for anything. Just do the Walt dialogue. Oh, I should say that. Monologue, yeah. It's his high school graduation party. It's so cute. Who's that? I don't want this. I don't want this. Alright, let's put it right here. What are we looking at? I didn't even want my original. Annette and Andy. We're all taking trips on memory. Aww. 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 Scrub Daddy is still looking like he's enjoying the live stream. But, uh, we're gonna have uh, also uh, again tomorrow and the next day will be a big groups as well. Tomorrow won't be as crazy. I mean, maybe it will be crazy. Who knows? But Friday will be a wild time. Simple Plan is playing. Kenny's gonna be back, and then Andy. Uh, tomorrow, and Traveler will be in town. Mike and uh, Jess will be here. Lauren's gonna come see Simple Plan. Why are you doing the robot? Because I'm trying to turn my body. Oh, uh, because you're hurting. hurting. My neck. Okay. It's like a neck to my when, back. When Lauren woke up today from her neck, you guys How could this happen to me? Eric says, Carney, put some sunblock on. This is actually me as the least amount of red you can get. Right? I don't think I'm that red today. I'm normally much redder. This is minimal red. It's just a combination of... No, you're not that bad. I did it, but Scrub Daddy can't stand up now. Oh! Wow, look at this. I'm like, That's I didn't even won't stay. I just don't like that we're touching it this long. <laughs> you know what? I gave up. I touched oh, no. just the lines, and then I was like, you know what? Just, just touching the lines. No. <laughs> God. I saw them. Whoa. Great to see you a little bit. 
Wow, Eric says Haunted Mansion is a three-hour wait. I would say most indoor rides right now are going to be long waits. We're supposed to get some severe storms here in Orlando. Uh, we're on a little break right now since we're hovering here. Uh, Eric says Rise vs. is a 345-minute wait. Do you guys... Lightning Lane. Lightning Lane? Thank God. Uh, Kenny's going to rejoin his group at Rise. Yeah, thank goodness. Glenn Ritchie in the house, my man. Oh, there's a video with Glenn and I uh, and Suzanne coming out where we did a beer share over the Coronado uh, inside of the tower. We did an awesome beer share on Disney property, and that video is coming out next week, too. And uh, he says uh, uh, he's on the, air on the way to the airport and heading home to the USA. Love the Ritchie family, and Glenn is super cool. So is Suzanne. They're both awesome. But, uh, yeah, what an amazing world traveler yeah. and just a great <laughs> person overall. We love it. Every, every, uh, oh, every day. We'll go to Patty's after hours. Oh, so God. Plenty of rides in the South. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and tonight is uh, Hollywood Studios after hours event. I'm not going, but Kenny's going. So you can go on. If you ever do an after hours event, and I would say this to some people, if you can do it. It's a little expensive, but if you're paying per park ticket, you can go on a lot of rides super quickly in a small amount of time. You basically walk on everything. So when we And then the actual glow nights are great over at Disney uh, Typhoon Lagoon as well. I'm about to have either the best or worst experience on the smuggler's run in, of all time. Because we my say, pilots will be a seven year old and a ten year old. Oh, you're going to have the yeah. best time. <laughs> it's going to be a disaster, but you're going to have a great time. We actually, we actually, um, my ten year old nephew and my friend were the pilots. And we drove. And we ended up getting the ghost I was like, That's incredibly good. <laughs> yes. So, uh, if you've never been on Smuggler's Run, the pilots are pretty much the most important people. Uh, they steer the ship. One steers it left and right. The other's got to steer it up and down. Uh, so vertical and horizontal. They have to work together, and you go, you try to get all these things done. I don't want to give it too much right away. And then there's engineers, and then there's people who like shoot the other stuff out of the way. If you have some rough pilots, I've been on with some great pilots, but I've also been on with, uh, I'm, I'll never forget it, there was this grandmother, God bless her, not part of my group, but I was in the back. She had no idea what to do, so she was just slamming it one way and then the other way back and forth. So we were just getting rocks. We got nothing done, but it was a ton of fun. I told them before they got on the ride the first time, I said, you'll have to excuse me. I'm an engineer seat driver. I will be hollering directions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an engineer seat driver. I'm like, get behind the train. Yeah. <laughs> to the left. Shoot the hot Hit the Who's not shooting? We have unlimited bullets. Uh, kids are crazy, says, man, I'm jealous of Epcot and Friends with Journey and Farner. Forget about it. What a good day. I agree. Coach, great to see you. We have two coaches here in the chat. Dilo, reminding everyone, great job on the likes. If you haven't yet, please tap the like button and consider subscribing. And I agree. Thanks, Dilo. Here we go. Let's, see. Let's jump back into the group and see what they're talking about. How did that happen? I don't know. So Patty's, 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 Patty's happened. Off. What are we talking about? Oh, this is St. Patrick's Day Adventure? No, this is just like Lauren and Ned. They dropped us off at the gas station. Andy picked up Lauren and Ned. And then it was like a 40 minute ride. Paddy Wagon is a bar right nearby the parks. It's in the same parking lot as Kitty O'Shea's, where a lot of cast members go. So people go to Kitty O'Shea's or Paddy's. Oh, and it, they're both a wild time. A a uh, we also have a current Miss America pageant winner. <laughs> there <Welcome>. she <laughs> is. I really enjoy that hat on you. Thank you so much. Oh, you got to hear about the sales thing. Should we talk about today's sales? I already did. No, no, I, on the stream? Not many no. people can do that. Guess what? Guess what? Uh, what, Ray? Currently, as of yesterday, this is not even a Ray fact. As of This is actually now, correct. <laughs> Ray facts are highly questionable. I like that. All right, so let's just let her get into it. It's like a rock fact. Anyway, so the point. Oh my. Uh, so the point is, there is thirty percent off flower and garden merchandise right now for everyone in general. Amazing. But then on top of that, if you're an AP holder, your thirty percent off comes on top of that thirty percent off. So I mean, they are paying you to buy the stuff. When I was I looking know. for you, I was like, oh, I found a net. I'm good. She goes, we just I just want to let you know yeah. that it's thirty percent off. And I was like, we okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, got my I was like, I'll wait till Lauren gets here. Lauren can go shop for the house. I mean, if I do the math correctly, that's got to be at least. 
40% off. Uh, I bought a, a, a spirit I'm not Today's the day to buy stuff. I keep ripping them almost out of my ear. You look great in them. I love those earrings. I know. That's why I wore them for you. I love them. You look great. Thank you. I like your hair up, too. I did it all for you, my love. Wow. Just amazing. Lauren always looks great. Stop it. I agree. That's very nice. That's very nice. Tell, very nice. tell us, chat. They're all nice. Because you wear at 4 a.m. every yeah. day. I tell, I, Laura, I tell Lauren that, she's like, no, no one ever said I look nice. Fishing for compliments. Out here just looking stunning. While we're talking about how nice Lauren looks, guess who gained 12 pounds in the last three weeks? All I did was eat, 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 no matter what. I was in New York, zero exercise, all the meals. Four meals, yeah. five meals. Sometimes, do I hear six? Yeah, six meals in New York because the food is so yeah, dang good. Not that Orlando food is great, but when you go back to New York, there's certain <laughs> mainstays, like the Italian, the Chinese, the sushi. Oh my gosh. As, as Sweet, said, sassy, molasses. As, as, as I said to Lauren, one of my favorite parts one of my favorite parts of the trip is when we went to the little spot in Brigantine, and she goes, oh my god, diner food. Yeah. Like, yeah. We don't really have good diners down here either. Like, I love diners. Me too. But like, are there really, there's not really like true diners down here, at least that I found in Orlando. I, no, I walked in and I was like, yeah. I just Diners and delis, there's not like they're a little different. Yeah. Wait, once you like get some, yeah, it's different. I gotta go to New York and I gotta go to Cat's Deli. Skin tone. Oh, I'll take you. We were just, I was literally walking past it the other day. I know. I watched On our New York live stream. Go watch the stream. I did watch it. You know what's so funny is that I was doing a New York live stream. You were in the chat and then you called me and then on the stream, like, Andy, you know I'm live streaming. Did I accidentally do that? Because I was. You literally... did. It was the day you called them. First off, were you drinking? You oh. called him. No, because you were in the chat, and then like ten minutes later, you called me, and I was like, "Andy, you know I'm live streaming. I can't answer the phone." Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe that my. Was I was actually worried. I'm like, maybe I should answer because he knows I'm streaming. Is something no, I wrong? Think it was... No, I think I. Was, I'm like, uh... if he calls twice, I gotta answer. Yeah. It was like That's a... always the thing. It was like yeah. a dial. Like if somebody calls like... twice, oh, you gotta yeah. answer. It's yeah. Important. Yeah. Because. I'm pretty sure that was the day. No. Okay. Because I remember he was streaming and I said, he's streaming. So that yeah. just helps the magnet. Was it, it just recently doubles the magnet. That day? It was recently. Like, that's just now. It was that's last week in New York City with my mom. Because I always yeah. see people with just that. And yeah. I'm like, what is that? Because they take the mag and knobs. I like that. But this part is attached to your phone? Yep. But it fits under the case. Well, it's the case. I mean, I can just take the case. Welcome to iPhone talk. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ooh, the yeah. band's warming up. The band's warming up. I'm excited. Tonight here at the Garden Rocks Theater is a uh, foreigner jury cover or tribute band, depending on what you want to call it. Wait a minute. Pat Make 75 is here? We got to say hi. Shout out to my man, Pat Make 75. Uh, a true legend here on the channel, but really a true, true Epcot legend going way back to our early days here on the channel, which I'm hoping to bring this channel back to. Honestly, it's been a, a kind of a crazy spring, but I feel re-energized after three weeks away and before that, being in New York for two weeks before that. Uh, we've done a, a lot of crazy stuff has happened in my life. But now, all the stuff has happened. All the trips are done. It is time to focus right here on this YouTube channel. Have so much fun. We're gonna be back in the parks all the time. Videos coming at you all the time. I'm so excited because honestly, you guys really do make me so happy and so proud to have a YouTube channel, and I'm just so pumped. I'm, I'm optimistic as ever. I'm, I'm happy as ever. Tomorrowland Traveler said, "Ray facts are fact checked by T3 Incorporated." So Tomorrowland Traveler, is, we'll see him uh, tomorrow and Friday. Glenn says, "Wish I was there." Looks like it's fun. Yeah, we're having a great time. I can't believe you guys decided to do 50s primetime and sci-fi in the same day. You did that? You know better to do that. Listen, friends, if you're going to do two big meals at Disney, space them out. Don't do a late lunch and an early dinner. Disney has so much food, you're going to feel so bloated. Space out those big meals. Have snacks in between, especially at Epcot. Do booths. But over at Hollywood Studios, there's a lot of good restaurants. Do an early lunch and a late dinner, or do breakfast and dinner. It's so much food. Yeah, I would just. It's so much food. It is nice. Disney is bringing back the Disney dining plan. Uh, in case you haven't heard, that is coming back next year. Also, Disney getting rid of reservations. Hopefully next year. It's very exciting. We already have for uh, annual pass holders. Tonight is Foreigner and uh, Journey Cover Band. Yeah, that's why I was saying we're gonna party it out. 5:30. Right now we're rocking the 2019 
This, do you remember why this is significant? There was only 2,000 these sold, the flower and garden magic band. It's still an open top. I mean, I can do math, and I'm looking at the band, so I can guess. <laughs> Anyone know why this was significant, this magic band? It was the last true flower and garden before the pandemic. Also, the year we moved down here. Up, oh, we're making friends. We're making lots of friends. That's what we do here. Dawn knows. She said New York food way better than Florida food by a million miles. It is, but I mean, not to say there's not. The food is getting better and better every year here in uh, Florida. Michelin just started reading restaurants here in Orlando, so that's a big deal. Izzo lost 12 pounds. I gained 12. We swapped. Congratulations to Izzo. Hi, Alyssa. Great to see you. Grumpy here in the chat. The said, darn, I wish I knew you were there right now. I wanted to buy a shout. I don't even know what that is. Buy a shout. Sure. I'll give him the shout for you. This is the sound check, right? It's got to be. I'm getting pumped up for... I know. I'm saying it's got to be the sound check. Foreigner and Journey tonight? What? A tribute cover extravaganza. Who cares? We'll rock and roll. I want to rock! Like right by Penn's Landing in Philly. Uh, the reason we're sitting down right now, for those who don't know, is there's a monster storm uh, over Orlando. So we're just hanging out, trying to stay out of it. It did clear a little bit. You can see the rain stopped. Rosita, great to see you. Says, how are you all watching this in the background while I straight up my room? Great to see you, Rosita. Thanks for all the comments on the videos. For all those who watch the edited videos, commenting really does help. So thanks to everybody who comments, likes, really means a lot. Shares, it really is so flippin' awesome. Right now, weather is fine, but rain is coming, yeah. Kevin Sparrow, great to see Kevin Sparrow. Great follow, we love Kevin. Rosita says, uh, hi Pete and Lauren, good to see you guys back home. Haven't seen, I uh, have to go see part one of your road trip, didn't get the notification. Yes, part one's out, part two comes out tomorrow morning. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit all notifications. We had the best time on our road trip. We did, there's a lot of good content coming from the road trip. Uh, I will say, if you, I, we love breweries. Uh, Lauren and I love to go to breweries along the road. Because it gives you a little piece of the local culture. We go to small microbreweries. We share like a flight, so we have like a half a beer each. Um, and then we, you know, get to stretch our legs, use the restroom, and get back on the road. So we get to see a little bit of these small towns. And it's a lot of fun. Sometimes there aren't. Yeah. No, I was going to say, they're my favorite because I feel like at like local breweries that are small, you get a piece of the culture and the people and the vibe. And I like that better than like buying a souvenir or a postcard. I'd rather try like the beer and buy like, a beer shirt or get a sticker from like the town because it's just like, it makes you feel like, I don't know, it's, it's You're not touristy. You're supporting small like. local businesses, yeah. but also you get to like get to know the real people of the town. Yeah. And not every town has like a big tourist attraction, especially along 95. There's just stretches of nothing. And sometimes when you go to a big area, a tourist attraction might take you hours and hours. So when you want to just get out, stretch your legs, learn a little bit about the town, we find these little microbreweries. We pop in, we talk to the people, we take some video, some pictures, uh, and just find out about the town and what's going on and the people. Also, this is day three of our road, or day- um, Tomorrow day two comes out. Um, yeah, but day three premieres. Day yeah. Day three so starts the campaign. It's not really day three. It's when it's, we're coming home, basically. But Oh, that's like part seven. I don't know what yeah. part, but whatever. So we went to a brewery in Jersey in Hada, Hada, where are we? we have Something it. Heights? On the way there or the way back? On the way back. Oh, it wasn't in Jersey. Oh, it was in, it yeah, was. South Jersey, yeah. Um, it's actually right near you, and we said this is only a half an hour for you. I think it's Hatton Heights or Hatton, Hatton Heights. Yeah. Hatton oh Heights, my we loved. God. Can so I the, tell you, loved the brewery. Lauren, you're previewing like a video that's coming out in two weeks. Okay, but I love the, the town. Here, yeah, I'll tell you about it in a little bit. Okay, all right. Let's talk about tomorrow's brewery. Right. Okay. Well, tomorrow's going to be awesome because we um, had a very special experience. We were in Baltimore. Before we got to Kenny, tomorrow's video, we, get, we actually go to see Kenny. <laughs> I, I, um, I need to, I need to oh my god, there's so many things happening. Wait, can I just say one thing though about, I'm not going to give anything away, but I will say that if we didn't look up this brewery and we didn't go to this specific area, I would have never found out about this town in Jersey, which I love and I'm like, I would live here. So that's all I'm saying and I like that we do that because it brings us to places we might never go to. Same thing in tomorrow's video, we spent some time, the first half of the video is just two places because 
we found this, uh, we, we found a brewery in, in uh, Baltimore that was pretty highly rated. We went in, but they didn't have food and we were starving. So the restaurant across the street, we went across the street, they were closing, they were locking the doors we walked up and they said, no, come in, come in, come in. And then I said, can I video? I have a YouTube channel. They heard our YouTube channel uh, that we love traveling and stuff like that. They made us their two best dishes, a bunch of apps, a bunch of salads, and they gave us a full tour of the place. And we found out this place takes in people off the street, teaches them how to cook, uh, gives them culinary experience, a month of classes, gives them money for gas cards. It's just amazing. So check out tomorrow's video. It's just a feel good place. And then the brewery across the street was amazing. So if you're in Baltimore, it's these are two must do spots. Where are we going? I'm gonna use the rest of you can talk. Wait, wherever you guys wanna go, I'm ready to go. I'm just killing time. We're just hanging out with the stream. We're ready to walk. You guys wanna walk? We're ready to stay if you wanna stay. We're ready to party if you wanna party. We're ready to. I thought it was like 5.30. No, this is still sound check. Oh, okay. Yeah, they have to be doing sound check right now because there would have been a lot bigger line out there. It's all right. So no matter what you do, before you go any further. You're out of here? I don't, I don't want him to wait for me. And we right. have Friday. Guys, we have Friday. tomorrow's video on the road trip, we're going to his place in Brigantine. You want to check it out. And also, we're going to see him on Friday as well. Kenny Siraki, <laughs> awesome dude. Such a great person. All right. I love you, buddy. Back. Here we go. Do you not want to be? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. You're not on camera. All right. Let's say. But Andy is. Oh, okay. Do you want to be on camera? <laughs> Okay, no, I, I'm friend. Friend. having a conversation that you wanted off camera, so that's why I... Okay. So that's later. <laughs> okay, that's I don't a know full what that is. Hey, d -Lo. I can't with that. Look at him. What a cutie. All right, that's enough. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it looks so like that. I, I love what you did with it, but I wouldn't I don't like touch that. it. I don't like don't that. Like come on. Because who brings like that. that to fucking... Whoa! Anyway, somebody's in timeout. All right, up. That's it. Someone's in timeout. Let's watch. Let's watch this squirrel. You know who doesn't curse? This squirrel. 
He's eating his... He has a potato chip. He's got a potato chip. giving us his back. Um, Ray had an idea and we thought it was fun. Why don't we go to Japan? It's still close to here. We come back and watch the concert. And uh, let's go explore Japan. <laughs> 60 second timeout. <laughs> I know it happens. Let's go back in the chat here. Uh, Laura, uh, Laura Ramos, thanks for saying hi. She says she saw us in the uh, American Adventure Pavilion. If you guys ever see me in the parks, come up, say hi. I'll give you a hug, give you a high five. I mean, most of the time, if it's the summer, now the summer's here. I don't know if you're going to want a hug. Uh, you might want just the high five. If you've been enjoying the Ted Lasso shorts, if you haven't seen them, go check them out. If you're a Ted Lasso Disney fan. Is, is Andy dancing? A little bit. Hello, Peyton's magical world in the house. You can hear the sound check happening. We're going to go see this show a little bit later. We're going to go to Japan, which is right next door to America. I know that doesn't make sense geographically, but here at Epcot, it does. You might get another compliment on your Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My very fragile ego loves it. <laughs> That's a good line. <laughs> Andy Voigt, what's going on? Sounds like you need to come to Wisconsin. I really want to. I was supposed to go last year for the Jets-Packers game, but you know what? I would uh, much prouder to be a Jets fan this year. Janelle B, what's going on? So I fly to MCO on Saturday. Then heading to the villages with my parents. Can't wait. That's awesome. I got some family over in the villages. Peyton's Magical World says, I've barely been in Carney's streams. It's so nice to be here. So friendly and entertaining. Thank you so much, Peyton. Really appreciate that. So happy to have you here. Where are we heading to? We're here in Japan. Oh, we got more friends in the house. Andy, who are these people? Who are? You've joined us. What's up? I'll give you a hug. Because it's not raining and I'm not that sweaty. Yeah. Yes. We're entering Japan. Thanks so much, Peyton. Dilo said if you just came in to watch the stream, hang on, people will be right back. Yes, I'm back. Thank you so much, Dilo. Scott says, What's up, guys? I saw where you were on Untapped. <laughs> no spoiler here, it's a great brewery. Right near my hometown. Yes, if you guys are on Untapped, I'm a big craft beer drinker. Love the Untapped app. Uh, I've been supporting Untapped since the year it started, actually. Uh, Greg, I believe, one of the developers. Um, and I got to meet at one of uh, a beer festival when he first launched the app, and I've been supporting it ever since. Dawn loves the Mickey Scrubber. <laughs> Johnson, can mods uh, mute people virtually and physically? <laughs> yes. Sure. Whatever you want. Sure. What's going on? I believe it's uh, Micaiah Shepard. Says hello from uh, Addersville, Georgia. And <laughs> that's like cool entertainment. Hey, you know what? We're live. Things crazy things happen live. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. We're only, it looks like we're six likes away from 100, so make sure you hit the like button. It really does help, and it really means a lot. Jason's got 63 more days until he is back. Dila says the Ted Lasso bits are funny, Pete. I'm so glad. Uh, are we in, how's the picture right now? Are we blurry? Are we good? I want to switch between cell or Y and give you the best possible picture. If we're blurry, let me know. Just hit refresh first and let me know if it's me or you. And if it's me, I will switch it up. Jason's got just under a year. That's exciting. Kevin says the gift shop in Japan is awesome. We'll go check it out. Francois, what's going on? Great to see you. It's crazy that we did the first uh, the first uh, show of Harmonious. Yes. Right Our first Harmonious show, when we debuted it that night here live on the channel, we were standing right there. Yep. 
so many memories here on the channel. It's crazy that we've been doing this so long. All right, let's refresh. Everyone, hold on one second. I'm going to refresh the stream and switch from uh, whatever I'm on to the other one, whether it's sell the Wi-Fi or vice versa. Let's go. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Just hit refresh. All right. Is this better or worse? Peyton says, hey, I want to let you know, Pete, your nighttime shows are just any show in general. I would provide lyrics and chat. I do this on other streamers' channels. Dilo is seen, if that's okay with you. Absolutely. Especially for any channel or person that may want that. And people don't have to have the chat on. So it doesn't bother me at all, and I appreciate it. Thanks so much for asking. It means a lot. All right, we refreshed. Are we better or are we worse, everybody? A little better, much better, better. The same, blurry again. All right? Kevin says much better. All right, we have a mixed bag here. So we'll keep it on this until you guys say it's much worse. Or I could switch back to either cell or Wi-Fi. I think right now we switch to the Wi-Fi. We're here at the garden house. The other day. Don't do sake flights anymore. It's very sad. I used to love the sake flight. Oh, hi, everyone. There I am. No! It's right. Luckily, there's only a sip left. Uh, and I just, you know, I was so excited for sake. So excited. Hey. It's all good. It happened. The chat loved it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I love that. Is it nudity? Yeah. Oh, come on, two in a row. <laughs> You're right. I totally agree. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Well, welcome to this group. What do you want? Uh, everything? Is that an option? Yes. Everything, please. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't do flights anymore, right? Uh, no demands today, Kate. All right, then all the sake. Everything. I know. There they are. They found shelter. While they find sake, I'm going to run through the gift shop. I'm going to run around and be back. Let's walk around Japan. We always go up top. I love the... So the restrooms aren't the best up top, but I love the water elements, the koi pond, the shade, the bamboo. Well, let's head inside. A lot of people getting violet sake on for sure. It's kind of the drink here in Japan. People think it's still blurry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it up right here. Look at this. Love it on a delay. So let's just say, <laughs> look at that. Dylan. Yeah, Dylan, shout out to Dylan. Where are you guys from? Pennsylvania. What part of PA? York, awesome. We just drove through there. We just did a road trip up to New York and back. Cool. Big fans. Well, thanks for watching. And thanks, Dylan, for making it happen. Jeez. I love it. Look at this. You guys are famous now. <laughs> All right. Let's switch this up from Wi-Fi to cell service so we can go inside the store. Everyone, hold on one second, then we're for Here we go. Yeah, New York, not far from Shelly. Violet Saki, very popular drink. Thanks, Payne. I appreciate you asking. All right. I, hopefully this is better. You guys can let me know. We're headed in. I love going over the drawbridge, over the moat here. We're headed into the shop. So another fun fact, if there's a line, you can get sake up top in the shack. You can get sake where we were at the garden house. You can also buy sake to go inside. And you can also purchase sake to try right here inside the gift shop. And normally there's a line, but there's no one here. This is crazy. So what's the best sake you guys serve right here? Let's tell everybody who's watching. Oh, no more sake bar? That's it? You could buy the bottles here. But you could still go upstairs or to the Saki Garden House, of course. And also the restaurant upstairs, Tepanito, fantastic. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. They also have uh, registers here to buy all your fun stuff. You can get all your Japanese snacks, treats. They got Pocky. They got all kinds of fun stuff here. Also these fun sushi sets, tea sets, bowl sets. Love this with the chopsticks. 
I have one of these at home, and I've never used it, but I really should. I need to make it, I need to purchase a sushi rice cooker. That would be so much fun. You got that Japanese incense in here. They do sell swords. It's kind of crazy, right? To buy a sword at Disney, but you cannot walk around with it. They will <laughs> send it to you. Or the front of the park when you leave outside the gates. Here's more of your wardrobe. Uh, a lot of fun stuff here. This is fun. You can paint a little something right here. Make our way. Sorry, pardon me. We got some bags, belts, umbrellas. Good day. The umbrella sales will be up today. I don't know why I just thought of Smooth Criminal when I saw this mannequin. Look at these belts. These are styling. Captain Kirk, what's going on? We are just one like away from 100. If you guys haven't hit the like button yet, let's, let's get there. These are fun socks. And I can still wear them with my webbed toes. People think it's funny to buy me toe socks because two of my toes are webbed. And before you say, ew, gross, just remember you want to be saved by somebody with webbed feet. Oh, here's the oyster area. Love it. You know, you can come pick an oyster and get an, a pearl right here at Epcot in Japan. Then they have the overhead camera so you could watch from further away if you don't have an up front view. Right now it's a quiet time here at Epcot, so we get to just walk in and be up front. But during the busy season, it's hard to get up anywhere up near here. Sorry about that. Hi, goofy guy. So I think our group is right outside this window. Let's see if we can find them. They are. Look at this group out here. Bunch of maniacs. <laughs> they have drinks for me. This is fun. We got a fun group today. What a way to come back to Walt Disney World with so many amazing people here hanging out. A really cool gift shop. A massive gift shop here in Japan, but super authentic. A lot of fun. So many different items and things to do. Here's the elevator. If you wanted to go up to Teppanito instead of doing these stairs, they do have an elevator. Teppanito, kind of a hibachi grill. Big difference is, is that uh, here in Florida, they do noodles instead of rice. So I like when I grew up in New York, we used to love hibachi, but hibachi rice was my favorite. They don't do rice here, they do noodles, which are still fantastic, but you should know that. Mitsukoshi, 1673, still owns a store. They're the largest department store in Japan. And uh, they have a contract here at Epcot, which is super cool. And there's our group. Let's go say hi. Jessica Amador in the house. We love Jess. I was just talking about Jess earlier. Hey, hey, hey. Family friendly. Family friendly. All right. Peter. Yes. Peter, this Who is your drink. You? One more step and I'll you. No. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the unfiltered? I don't think I'm doing that. No. Because I was like, 
Yeah. Like, no, I mean, I like Sakura too. I like that one too. So you got a Violet Saki. I just got a Sephora. Sephora, what'd you get? Something fabulous, but it's Something fabulous, really like Violet Saki. Something fabulous in Japanese. You're gonna try that. You're gonna try that. It's the one on the far right. It's all I know. <laughs> it's refreshing. It's that is good. It's, it's and technically, if you look at a map, Japan is normally on the far right. <laughs> so that is a good drink. It's the one. Yeah. There were three options. Lauren. Like if you just look at a map of the United States, for, if you live here in America, <laughs> Japan's all the way over here. <laughs> that would make it. Technically wow. left. But yeah. Yes. But I mean. <laughs> Leave it alone. Yep, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Let's done. try the unfiltered sake, shall we? I think it would be a fun night. That's literally at the very end, it's like. So good. You and K-Trans both feel needy right now, even when you're. See if I miss anything here in the chat. Chat. You want some of this in my mouth? Yeah, I'll try a little sippy sip. You better share my mouth every time I have Daniel. Uh, Peyton's Magic World says, Pete, will you be watching Epcot Forever tonight? I think that is the plan. I think we're going to stay to the end as long as something crazy doesn't happen. I don't know if we'll be live for it. Uh, it really depends on weather, how long we stay live for. But I, our plan is to be... Yeah, and what goes on in the group. But our plan is to stay until fireworks tonight. Uh, excited to see him. Even though everyone knows my take on Epcot Forever, I don't mind it that it's a temporary show because I just want something fantastic to come back. I'm a huge Illuminations fan. Wasn't the big Epcot Forever guy. I would have been if they pulled the barges out and brought them back in. I just didn't like the barges during the day, but I thought the show was good. Uh, but we'll be a forever Illuminations fan. Again, big shout out to Goofy Guy. Great to see Jessica here. We're going to see Jessica hopefully this week as well. I think she'll be part of our Friday night shenanigans here at Epcot as well. So it's going to be a ton of fun. Because I'm loyal. Wow. Thanks again, the D-Lo. Wow. Nico the Greco says, no rice, boo. Well, hey, the noodles are good, too, and it's a different experience. Yeah, but hibachi rice is where it's at. Yes, Jessica is a ninja. I love when Jessica watched us. Uh, she, she sent me a hysterical video of her and Mike, her husband, watching our first part of our road trip. So funny. Blurry again. All right, I'll change it up. Hold on, everybody. Let's switch it up. Please refresh in one second. Oh, Peyton, that's awesome. Yeah, um, we'll be here, I think. I think we'll still be here. Follow on the socials uh, at most for the rest of the day if we stop streaming, but also on Twitter at your WDW guy. Uh, the TikTok is at Adventures by Carney. Our Patreon is Carney. And we have an amazing Discord. In the chat and it's down below. Thank you, Patreon, because they make it happen. Way, way better, Pete. Oh, look at that. I'm glad it worked out. All right, let's see what this group's getting into. Could, could be one. Oh my gosh, all the people I know. Yeah, we're Welcome to it. Okay. Good. For those who don't know, sake is a rice wine. Uh, people like kind of take it shots, but you can sip it. It's a rice wine, almost like wine that you should sip, let it, let it, you know, get some temperature, change it up. It's sort of cold to warm, warm to hot. Uh, some sake is better than others, but sake are legit. I like. I'm a big sake fan. I have some rare sake in my house that I used to. I used to be really big into sake way back in the day. Uh, I still love it. I just don't collect it because I spend all my money here at Walt Disney. This is great. And an unfiltered an acquired taste, but fantastic. Alrighty, Kermit, party foul. He's like, I hope you don't want to do this. I was like, I'm gonna I have this one. You're good. Okay. It's bad. Hey, um, Kermit. I'm coming over for a Kermit shot. Kermit living his best life right now. That's what I'm saying. This is like legit. Oh, I'm sorry. He stole my drink. It's okay. Luckily, it's not too sunny out. But like, talk about a Kermit retirement shot right there. Kermit is a lush. He is a lush. Oh goodness. Keep your glasses on, Kermit. He has no nose. How would you hold up your glasses? That is a good point. Solid point. Solid point. Who knows? I think that is that boxing. Anti amphibian. He is an amphibian, I believe. 
Uh, no, that's honestly that's my new pitch on Shark Tank. Is sunglasses made for amphibians? Yeah. Do they actually get held? Yeah. They, so you don't need a nose to hold them up. Yeah, or like people who don't. Let's just say you don't have a really big nose. Uh, I mean, you call them goggles, but wait, you see what I've invented. It's sort of like goggles. Yeah, or like uh, the people of Whoville. Like it could be, you know. No, they got a little, a little nose, but I'm just saying, you know. We're not, we're not late. <laughs> not letting go of any market. A beautiful group. So many cool things. All expensive. Mitsukoshi, not cheap. That is so expensive. I'm just happy to see that they're doing the pearls again because, like, it adds energy to the store. Like, when they weren't doing it, it was sad. I know. I miss it. And Even though I never did it, I just, I like it. I like watching it, yeah. And honestly, the woman doing it right now gets so excited. It's like a different level. She's like, oh, my God. Like, showing it to everyone, clapping. It's awesome. The drums. I love it so much. What happened over here? Biscuits and gravy? So, like, that's what I've learned from your lady. My lady? Sauce? Because she's saucy? You know, guys, they asked if she had gravy in the orange. No, no, we, no, we say sauce. Yeah, we don't say gravy. It's a little, gravy's a little ridiculous. It's still sauce. Gravy is meant for Thanksgiving. Whenever you're missing Well, no, you're not, you're talking about red sauce is called gravy? No, gravy. I know, because it's a, gravy is like a brown... I'm saying certain Italians call red sauce gravy, and it's weird. So, like, we call gravy gravy. Exactly, that's what Lauren is saying. So, it's, some Italians say it's called gravy when you pour the red sauce over pasta or chicken or whatever it is, and that's the debate of do you call it sauce or gravy? And I agree with you that gravy is gravy. Gravy is a brownish color, yes, and you can add whatever kind of chicken stock or whatever kind of stock you want and whatever in that sauce is tomato based and you put it over Italian dishes. Well, I hope she's watching. Why? It's true though. You don't know how to make sauce or you don't know why your mom would be upset or what? Oh, but you could, yeah, I mean, but you're not wrong. Flour thickens the sauce. Flour, I think, is the gravy. I almost said sauce. I know I'm not wrong about that, but I don't know exactly. So you typically, like, when we made, well, you could use um, stock from anything. So, like, let's say you're making, whether it's chicken or let's say, like, on Thanksgiving, you make a turkey. You can use the turkey stock or you can put those bones in a pot and make a stock. And then you use flour to thicken it. And then you start adding other things, whether it's, like, bouillon or uh, fresh herbs or, you know, carrots, vegetables, onions, you know, whatever it is. And you make that gravy, and then you continue to thicken it. And so flour is really what you use. So you're not wrong. Your mom, I think, would be proud you got the main ingredient. Without flour, there's no gravy. Yes. Yes, yes, 100%. Uh, also, feel free to go check out the playlist, uh, Cooking with Carney. We like to cook at our apartment sometimes. Yeah. I don't know if you want to be on camera. You like give me a look, like get me off camera. <laughs> Great to see Jess here. Dawn says, I'm a vegetarian. There's no gravy in my life. I'm sure you could do a vegetable oh, stock. You you actually, yeah, you could so do a vegetable stock Hamilton. gravy. Ray Hamilton's of, uh, yeah. Ray's husband um, is a vegetarian and they do an amazing mushroom gravy. Yes. And it's actually quite delicious. Also, you can literally just do a butter gravy. You can do four tablespoons of butter, four well, that's tablespoons not, of butter. Oh, vegetarian, yes, but not vegan. Yes, sorry, not vegan. But so, vegetarian, yes, but not vegan. But I'm sure you can do a version of both. But yes, you can because you can use veggie stock. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're making a roux. So, make yeah. a roux with whatever you'd like to, whatever your vegan substitute is for butter or the fat. So, whatever that substitute is, four tablespoons of um, flour, and then a milk or milk substitute. Yeah. Or the stock. You guys have no money. It's all possible. Delicious. We live in a world where everything's possible. 
And I love it. sounds well. The sausage is so much it's so. Yeah. It's the number one, but you know, I flavored the other one really well recently. I think I finally mastered it. Mastered it. Really Yeah. So I have what they call a bitch leaf. Yeah. So it's all here in the. Um. It's fine. Look over there. So we're talking about different stocks and cooking. Wow. I know. I was like, what are they talking about? Cooking stocks and stocks. Oh, thanks. I can provide you. Peyton says, I think it might be the streaming that the higher the quality, the laggier the stream. We're just trying to give you the best possible picture. We are going to the foreigner journey cover band over in America in about 20 minutes. So stay tuned for that, or come on back. You got to go do something. Again, we're going to give you the best possible picture we can. Francois said, first time I tried sake, it was like heated vodka. I didn't like it. Um, so you got a warm sake, or a hot sake, which sometimes isn't the highest quality. Uh, some sakes should be enjoyed cold. Um, a hot sake is just like your basic rice wine, right? Like, that's it. Let's see what else is happening. Oh, thank you. You're the men. Alan, bring in the Drake over. We move further away after you're talking about your sleeve. I'm like, I'm going to come over here. No, it's, it's all very wholesome. No, I know, but the way you described it, I'm like, oh, that's fun. Recognize and acknowledge. And that's who we are. We're just having a fun time at Disney, having a good time. How do you actually keep up with the chat? Um, you can see, so it's a little rough. I'll show it to you. Here. Yeah. Is that, oh, let's angle the camera so we can see ourselves here. Yeah. The gimbal does good work, though. Yeah, the gimbal's great. Um, yeah. So the chat does come across very quickly. So if you want to go back down, you just pull it down. Yeah. And it's this tiny little print. So you got to, like, catch it as it goes. Okay. And then we just go back and say hi, like Suzanne's here. We haven't said hi to Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Yeah. Um, and then like some things like uh, I love when the chat interacts with each other so there's just some inner conversations yeah. within the chat that, that we just let them have yeah. and then if someone has a question or if there's a new person or a new subscriber we say what's up people have questions yeah. or say what's going on we know what's going on yeah or if our picture goes out because we switch from Wi-Fi to cell phone they'll say like hey it got a little blurry we'll switch from back to cell phone or Wi-Fi because Disney Wi-Fi goes in and out a hundred percent yeah and so does Verizon yeah. service so it's T-Mobile Honestly, I might be converted. I had T-Mobile years, like I'm talking 15 years ago. So, let's talk about service. Where I used to live, I hated T-Mobile. Yeah. So, I live in Champions Game. Oh, yeah, it's rough. And I couldn't get text messages or anything, so anybody I talked to, like when we, we, when we first started talking, I was like, hey, I can talk to you on Instagram, Snapchat, stuff Just like don't that. text me. Yeah. If you want to text me. <laughs> it's going to be on Wi-Fi, yeah. I can try, I, and I will try, but it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So, that was like me in Europe, but T-Mobile's so big in Europe. But anyway, go ahead. So that's the thing yeah. is I kept T-Mobile because I work for United Airlines. Oh, so there you go. I travel free. Europe, T-Mobile is everywhere. Everywhere else is amazing. Amazing in Europe, yeah. Yes, just not exactly where I, not I lived here, at that yeah. time. No, 100%. On Long Island, it was like non-existent. And I'm like... How does everyone else have towers everywhere and there's no signal? Like so I AT switched to Verizon. People? Oh, well, ATT has never been here, to be fair. Just, for, for me, if you need, they always have good service, but you're paying here for it. Yeah. You're right. You're not wrong. I don't, I don't want to do that. But, yeah. I mean, you travel a lot. So, yeah, if you travel a lot, T Mobile, I think it's a great plan. And their pricing is fantastic. Dude, Japan, Korea. Never had a problem. Oh, awesome. Never had a problem. I've been in Japan twice. Right. I'm in Japan right now. It's honestly, the service is sketchy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. This is definitely Japan. I'm. I feel like I'm in Japan. Uh, so yeah, Japan is like California weather. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Because they it's like, oh my god, it's so hot here, and like, well, what's going on? And it's like, they have a couple friends that live there. And they're like, Japan or California? Cal or, sorry, Japan. Okay. And they're like, well, it's 80, and it's humid. And I'm like... Yeah. Oh, we get it. Yeah. We're sorry for your suffering. I really wanted to Japan, so my cousin toured there with his band and said it was his favorite spot. He loves it so much. I have some friends who live there now. Uh, I really, I heard... I think everyone knows that the Disney in Japan is the best Disney. So I did Disney, uh, uh, 
Dizzy Sea. We're talking, we're talking Japan. We just yeah. really I just want to Dizzy Sea was amazing. I absolutely love yeah. like, I heard it's one of the greatest parks in the world. Yeah. Um, did Universal in Osaka? Okay. In October for Horror Nights. Oh my god. Is it good? It's so good and so different though. Because they're also super respectful of you. They are, but it's everything is interactive. Oh, okay. So as you're going through a house, they'll take a group of like six to eight people. Okay. And you'll go through the house and like as you're going like, hey, hold the door. And you'll hold the door and like people are banging against it. And like there's no. a whole thing. So you're messing with other guys. Yes. That is amazing. And then you'll go into a room that's an arcade room because it was Res St. Resident Evil House. Yeah. We went to like an arcade room and we're like, oh my god, they're coming for us, grab a gun. And you pick up a gun, it's an arcade wall, and you're like shooting the wall. That is wild. I love that. But it's fully interactive for every situation. That's super And it was cool. just super amazing. I mean, that makes sense for Japan, just technologically A hundred percent. And I would go back anytime. That's, uh, yeah. that's our number one park we want to go to is Japan. Let me know and I'll show up. Yeah. All right, we will. I, like I said, I fly three. I, I think, will literally go. Yeah, I think we're gonna try and plan a little bit of a something like a Listen, with time out. Yeah. Yeah. Because it would Ray be awesome. says that we like traveling and stuff like that. Because traveling in groups, yeah. it can be a pain. It's tough. But yeah. when you actually get to and stuff like that, it's better with just having your friends. I agree. I'm a big person. So even when I was in New York and now near Florida, and a big part of where we're going with this. As you uh, channel yeah. is I just love traveling. I love groups. I love planning things. And I think everything is more fun with a group and letting people break out if they want to break out. Like, like hey, it. so my we're gonna meet here this time. If you want to be a part of it, we'll be here. If not, go do your own thing. But I think it's yep. fun to have a base where people can meet up at certain times and do things together. So and you can do cruises your own thing. are my favorite thing for that. Yeah, cruises are so great. You go on cruises. Our deal when we went on a big cruise with a large group. It's like, hey, we're staying here today. Maybe we do the thing together during the day. Yeah. But no matter but what, like, at like, night we eat for dinner. Like, yeah, like, I love that. And we did family meal. Yeah, family meal. Family meal. Yeah, a hundred percent family meal. And we did that the entire time. And most time when we did day stuff, we did it together, or maybe we didn't, and it didn't matter. Yeah, you know. If you and the, the nice thing is you have the yeah. option. So you want to be a part of the group or whatever, but we had that meet up at the end of the day where we like kind of collaborated. Like, hey, this is great. Don't do that. Yeah, and if you have a few days, people can tell, like, exactly you said, like, this is worth it, this isn't worth it. The review part. And exactly, yeah. everyone kind of gives their take on what happens. Okay. And I love that. I, a lot of my favorite trips I've ever done, I've been in large groups my, uh, in college. I went to London with 40 of us. And I just been, went and we ran around. I've done Scotland. I, I, I did it when I was underage, so, like, drinking was legal, so, like, oh, but having, oh. having 40 underage people go to London was wild, and we had such a great time. But we still did tourist stuff during the day, and then at night we'd be like, what bars were cool? So, um, one thing I, I don't like is a lot of people who are local are always like, oh, don't do the tour stuff, don't do the tour stuff. I enjoy the tour stuff. Me too. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. We just said that on a road trip too, like a blend of both. Like, yeah. No, no, absolutely. I want to see the tour stuff, yeah. but also show me the local A hundred percent. I want to see the local scene, but also show me, I want to take pictures in front of all the monuments. Like I just took her to DC, so like we like spent three, like we could spend, you could spend a whole day in DC, right? We just spent like three hours, monuments, hitting beautiful pictures, seeing things. We took our own scooters and our own thing, and then, I was like, all right, let me take you to Chinatown and show you some cool spots here, some cool spots there. Let me take you on a scooter into this area. And we saw a little bit of the local scene. We found an impression that she fell in love with that she thought she would never love. Like, so I like that. I'm the same as you. Give me a blend. Yeah. So I'm I'm from Louisiana. All right. Well, uh, so, you know, uh, the, uh, so New Orleans, Lake Bonsa Train, yep. North Shore. Okay, yeah, I mean, I've been in New Orleans a lot. Yeah. So North Shore, where everybody lives and everybody works in New Orleans. Who goes so down, my yeah. stepdad was a youth in New Orleans. Nice. Uh, we live in Lacombe, slide down all the Nice, hey. Right North Shore. Uh, and so I spent a lot of time in New Orleans as a young kid. Not a lot of animals, yeah. Not a lot of adult time. So it's very different. When I go, I like to enjoy the tourist part, but I also like the local part. So my, I'll, I have my uncles and aunts and everything. Like, Kay went to a dinner with us where all my family were there. And it's like, cool, we went to our dinner, we did this. And my uncle's like, I'm in Metairie, you know what's going on. He sent me a picture of his crawfish boy I was having. Like, that's way better than what I just had. Because I, 
A crawfish boil that anybody has in their yard is going to be better. It's the best. So we, I actually have a friend. She go to a wine shop on Long Island. Yeah. She sold her wine shop. She moved to New Orleans. Uh, actually became a burlesque dancer. She's a professional figure skater, but love burlesque. She has a friend who in New Orleans, too. But she comes up and she does crawfish boils at her old parents' house on the border on Long Island. And it's oh, so, in that area? Oh, but it, like, but we she ships them up. So yes. we, oh, you know, we call them mud bugs. I'm sure you call them mud yeah, bugs. Yeah. yeah. And it's the best. Uh, also, I love New Orleans. I went there once. I'm not gonna lie. Um, when I was 20 for Mardi Gras, a lot of fun. But also, we yeah, it's amazing. This is my uncle sent me this. He's like, we got it's a that. cooler full of crawfish. Yeah. <laughs> there it yeah. is. And it's awesome. Yeah. And, then, and like again, I love Bourbon Street, but also. So I love oh, all yeah, the other absolutely. stuff. Yeah. You have to experience this and this. In our promo, whenever you see one of our videos, there's actually a clip of a gator jumping onto a boat and us messing with gators. Yeah. That happened in New Orleans. We went and I, I said it was my favorite uh, airboat tour of all time. I've done them in Florida. They're okay. We had a guy and he was like, you guys want to have fun? How crazy you want to get? We're like, we want to get crazy. Like It was like us yeah. eight guys. So like he was like tempting gators onto the boat, telling us to grab the tail of gators and hold on off the boat. Yep. Uh, and saying this one's a blind one. Watch this. And they like the. Well, the they know them by name. At he that knew point? every gator location, name, and we were in the backwoods. Yep. We had no way to. I mean, honestly, we were so my family in the owns middle of nowhere. Land on the Pearl River, which actually divides. I, so Mississippi goes down most of Mississippi, Louisiana, right? Yeah. But in that area, the bayou, it's the Pearl River. Oh, so it was wild. And our family had land there, and we would go out and do shit like that, and it's like... Stuff like that. <laughs> You're good. Go ahead. I apologize. It's all right. Everyone, it happens. They watch Ted Lasso. I love Ted Lasso. One of my favorite shows. The most wholesome, because you watch all the other shows going on right now, Ted Lasso is wholesome. So good. I So if you, you have to go watch the channel. We'll make you. A, uh, we'll convert you. I have a series. I'm up to twelve. I'm up to part twelve. We have. I have. Oh, you watching? Well, no. Where I literally, I'm not saying it's me, but Ted Lasso comes to Disney. Oh no! So I've seen. Parts. I've okay. seen yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of that because I've watched it. I yeah. love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. It's great. Yeah. yeah. But so like that big Ted Lasso fan. Of it is yeah. So good. That's what I love. It's just like, and again, there's some language on the show for those who don't know Ted Lasso. So, but it is just a feel-good show where I feel like everybody wins and everyone should see it. Uh, Ted Lasso is like my spirit animal. The, the cast and the way it goes. There's a water bottle. We're good. There's a water bottle. Uh, the way the direction it goes with it, it's, it's so wholesome. Yeah. It's so good. I love the three-season arc. It was perfect. There may be spinoffs from what we hear, but anyway. Yeah. Yes. Uh, have you watched Wrexham? Love Rexham. Absolutely obsessed. Can't wait for season two. Welcome to Rexham. Go check that out. It's an amazing show. Yes, because they got promoted. Wait, so, sports ball? Sports ball. Sports ball. All sports right. Ball. We got relegated. Cheer. Did you? Oh, oh you Leeds, did? Leeds, Leeds yeah, got relegated. I, I didn't so want to bring Leeds it up. Leeds actually but did. What? But guess what? We'll probably get first place all this year. <laughs> but the Harp and Kelt we'll celebrate every day. does $5. I, know, I watch games so. there, and I love the Harp and Kelt early in the morning. It's fantastic in Orlando. If you're ever looking for a place to watch uh, Don't come football, there. It's terrible. But it's American soccer. Awful. Don't come there. No, no, no. I mean, it's the only place you can watch a game in Orlando early in the morning. Yeah. I just don't want everybody to come to football. No, you're no, not I'm everyone. Kidding. I'm talking. If I'm you kidding, want to I'm watch, kidding. it'll be fun. All the crew, if absolutely. you're going to go, yeah. text joking. me and I'll go with you. Harp and the Kelp. Harp and, and the Kelp. Harp and the Kelp. But there are two sides. Though. Harp and the Kelp. The, the Harp and the Kelp. The Harp and the no, Kelp. No, there, there actually is two sides. What, yeah. is, what is the other side? So the, the Harp kelp. is literally all the Liverpool fans. Oh. <laughs> and then the Kelp is the rest of us. Um, but I didn't know that's how it was divided. It, it, is, ran, yeah, okay. it is ran by Leeds fans. So you should at least uh, like Leeds a little. Also, um, what's his face? Uh, I will say. No, he say, no, he doesn't ever come. Fan of the channel. Who? Yeah, and that's great. He's a fan I'm of the sure channel. I'm sure he's going to remain a fan if you don't say. All right, you want me to say? Fine. I'll tell everyone. I'll tell the Patreons. Check Patreons. out the channel later. I'll tell the Patreons later. If they pay for it, they can know. Otherwise, it's too much. A certain celebrity that goes there to support his team. Familiar. Imagine celebrities that might have an accent. I don't know. Surprise, it's Kermit. <laughs> she wants me to stop talking about it. <laughs> All right, let's see who's uh, here. Uh, we've talked about so many that's things. A, I missed. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, all right, what's going on? And a transition. We're about to go watch an awesome show in about 10 minutes. We got a little rain going on. I don't. Why don't we go, Andy? You want to go watch Foreigner Journey in 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay, cool. 
We got a super chat. Rosita, thank you so much. So nice explanation, Pete. Now I'm donating for a new system. I want to see live streams for you. Uh, I really appreciate it. New system, please. You got it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Rosita. Thanks to everybody who donates. It really means a lot. Keeps the channel going. We're having a lot of fun. Um, so here's the thing. Yeah, jump in. I'm going to jump in. So anybody who donates from this point on, I will 100% match. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. I will match and go forward. So anybody who donates from this point scary, on. That's a scary, scary thing. That it, is it's scary. Terrifying. It's fine. It's scary. It, it is, is very it scary. Is, it is currently 518 Yikes. on the East Coast. You tell me when you want me to cut off this stream. That is terrifying. No. Well, there. I mean, yep. Alan, a very generous if, man. It's that Louisiana hospitality. If some of it is donated to an animal choice club. I'll do that. I love it. I love the animals. Absolutely. We love animals here. Absolutely. What did you just what get? Look at this colorful oh ring. Oh, my God. Look how bright that is. It was at Shine this. bright like a diamond. It was at the I was waiting for yeah. it. It's like when you start somewhere yeah. over the rainbow. If people had to finish it. It's yes. crazy doing a crowd. You got a little oh, sushi too. What do you got? You got tuna. You got salmon. What's in the middle? It looks like uh, what is that? Tuna, salmon, and mackerel. whitefish. Uh, it could mackerel. be mackerel. It could be I for like Japanese. But look mackerel. how like this yeah. is very yummy. That is so vibrant. Highly recommend. Taste it. It's you good. know, if it was blessed, you know what it would be. Sake. No, you have to say. Come it. on, you can say no. it. No, you can say it. You started it. You, you can have say to it. Say it. And then if it was blessed, you know what it would be. I have no idea. Come on. It would be holy mackerel. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Try it. It's very sweet, though. All right. Yeah, I'm not. It's vibrant. I'm not as sweet. It looks sweet. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It's very sweet. It's sushi and try this. Oh, look at that. It's very sweet, but it's honestly not like puckering sweet. Yeah. Oh, it's no, almost like you can just no. chug the whole thing and feel like you had a fruit juice, it's like a passion fruit. And that's dangerous. Yeah, is there alcohol in that? That's wild. Oh, no. There it is. There totally is. Okay. I'm in. Sure. All right. I'm gonna catch up some chat while Annette Sorry, eats sushi Don't on camera. All right. Medium. <laughs> It better not. We're going to go see a little show in a minute. <laughs> Crazy stop here in Japan. Again, our streams are, uh, I will say, a bit all over the place. So sometimes you might just have me. We walk around the parks, do some sentimental stuff, some fun facts, and just, you know, really taking the magic of Disney. But other streams, we're like this. We have a, a huge group. We're still enjoying Disney, but from a different perspective where we just uh, show you that there's still so much fun to have if you're in a group of adults, uh, walking around, having a good time. There's so many different ways to appreciate this beautiful place. We're big fans of Disney. Everyone here is a Disney fan. And a lot of my streams will give you different angles of appreciating Disney from different perspectives. So that's what you're gonna get here on the channel if you're new. I'm sure other people here know that already. What I'm gonna do is just uh, do a quick catch up here in the chat because I think I'm gonna go convince all of them to move to the America Pavilion so we can go watch a show together, get see some live music, right? That's what everyone wants to see. Let's go catch some of the magic happening here. Uh, Hope B says, uh, hey, Carney, can you cover the information about Epcot Forever? Uh, Hope Myers here, absolutely. So Epcot Forever is uh, a temporary show. It was between uh, Illuminations and Harmonious, and now it's between Harmonious and the next show, which hasn't been announced yet. It's a temporary show, but it also, it kind of, um, it's still a decent show. I mean, I, people make fun of me because I've, I've given it a little bit of hate, but only because it took away Illuminations. Uh, but it is still fun. It, it recaps fun moments throughout Epcot's history. So there's a lot of sentimental songs, as long as some new songs, some other stuff in there. You're not as much IP for movies that you would expect. More of a Epcot theme. Uh, if you want, follow me on my socials tonight. I'll probably post some of the uh, scenes from Epcot Forever tonight on my socials at Official Carney on Instagram, at your WDW guy on Twitter, and at Official Carney. I was already said on Twitter. I oh, know. That's Instagram. What I miss? TikTok's mentioned by Carney. Patreon's mentioned by Carney. You got it. Uh, and of course, jump on the Discord. Maybe I'll take a video and post in the Discord as well. Great to see Silicone Dave in the house. Says hello, hello. John's off the softball. Great seeing you, John. John will be in tomorrow's video as well. Uh, Silicon Dave says, yeah, 504-225-LOVE. Uh, I'm uh, south of Lake 
how do you say this? Let's see. Lake Pont Chantrain. Pont Chantrain in New Orleans. Uh, Silicon Dave says Coach Ted is the GOAT. If you guys missed the Coach Ted videos, if you want to watch them, they're here on the channel. There's a playlist. We have 12 parts so far with a few more coming. Uh, who's the guest with Pete? We have a whole group of us. We have literally, I think there's nine of us here today. Good to see Izzo still lurking. Thanks again to Rosita for the super chat. We also, uh, we, we are just heard from Alan that anyone who super chats for the rest of this live stream, he will match what everyone's super chat. And then we're going to give half of that to, uh, some sort of animal rescue here, uh, in Orlando. So that's a lot of fun. Why not? We've never done anything like it before. Alan, uh, super generous. Didn't need to do that. So yeah, anyone who do, uh, does a super chat or a super sticker for the rest of this live stream, it will be matched by Alan and then we'll be giving uh, half of all of that to Animal Shelter. The only reason we're doing that is because YouTube takes a third. So we'd be losing money otherwise. Jason said, I already clicked the thumbs up and the notification bell. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you guys want, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit all notifications. You won't miss a live stream. We're gonna be live tomorrow. We're gonna be live Friday. We have Road Trip Part 2 coming out tomorrow morning and a live stream in the afternoon. So tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. We're bringing you tons of content. We're back, baby. It's been, it's been such a lack of content and it's been hurting me deep down in my core. Thanks, Dave. So stay handsome and stay hydrated. Thank you. Two things I'm normally not. Rosita, I agree. I would love Reflections back. Um, for those who don't know, Reflections of Earth, also another name for Illuminations. Reflections of Earth. Hope says, can you tell the live stream what Epcot stands for? Sure. So when Epcot uh, originally was a conceptual idea, it was the experimental prototype community of tomorrow designed by Walt Disney. And it was supposed to be an actual working, living city. It was supposed to be a theme park. This is where people were going to live, uh, worship, work, uh, enjoy their, their, their downtime. It was gonna be like a, not a perfect community, but as, as good as it can get using all innovative technology that was years ahead of time, like the people mover and bridges and tunnels were like getting cars off the road. Uh, you can see a model of it when you're on the people mover over in the Magic Kingdom. Sadly, it never happened. However, when uh, Michael Eisner uh, was the CEO, uh, pushed the Epcot agenda, and it was supposed to be, there was a lot of different ideas. And actually what the park is now is actually two ideas that were smushed together. Is that there was this like edutainment park which is what we used to call Future World, but the three neighborhoods up front, which we're now calling neighborhoods, uh, about educating people while still entertaining them. And that's why you had all these, you know, horizons, world of motion, all these things that were teaching you while you, like living with the land. They still have that, that's that concept. Same thing with the aquarium. When they built the seas, the living seas at the time, now the seas with Nemo and friends, that was the largest saltwater aquarium in North America when it was built. They invested a ton of money here at Disney and wanted to do the best they, the best they could bring you the best of the best um and now it's been beat still number two in north america except for the georgia aquarium which has overtaken it but it's just so much entertainment and then they also had a concept of traveling the world and seeing all these places and that's the world showcase so they kind of switched those two ideas together there was going to be a hollywood section which eisner cut out and moved to its own park and that's how hollywood studios happened also there were rumors that universal was building a park based on its studio up the road so Eisner rushed that to make sure he could beat them to market to kind of keep control of the theme park scene in uh, here in Orlando. So that's why when uh, Hollywood Studios first opened, there wasn't many rides, but there was a working studio. There was a tram tour that lasted several hours. There was a lot of other things happening there. And then that evolved into what it was. Now I feel like it's a little bit of a lost park, but they're trying to figure it out. It'll get there. It's still a fun park with a lot of cool rides, but they do have to change some things up but right now there's a lot happening at hollywood studios uh behind the scenes i feel like and here a lot happening physically at epcot where in a year from now at epcot everything will be done the spine will be completing because you can't walk down the main strip there's still buildings being completed the moana walkthroughs being completed right now they're doing some refurb work over in canada over in the uk in a year epcot will be where it's at and they could focus their energy on other parks and projects Wow, we just got an awesome super chat, which will be matched by Alan, a $100 super chat. Thank you so much, Rosita. 
said, all right, for the animal shelter, maybe a new system. I will donate when challenged. I love it. Just lucky I'm saving uh, for my trip in two weeks. And this, uh, that's so, so nice. He better match it now. I will tell him 100%. He, he said it on camera. So I don't, I told him to be careful because I said we have some very generous people here. Again, if you're just joining us, uh, Alan here hanging out with us that he will donate um, and double any super chat or super sticker or any donation here uh, on YouTube until the end of the stream. So we're gonna try to keep the stream going as long as possible. Uh, and then we're gonna take that, YouTube does take a third, we're gonna take at least half of all the donations and give it to an animal shelter or an animal rescue or something for animals um, right here in Florida. So that is what's going on. Um, card worker, oh, so Hope here, our historian, I guess she's challenging me with these questions. I think I'm doing it pretty good. Card Walker, by the way, not Michael Eisner. So Card Walker did start Epcot, but it was kind of a, uh, a vision that was all over the place. Michael Eisner kind of finished it. Uh, Card Walker, a kind of a mixed review CEO. You can go read the whole history of Disney, but I really believe like Eisner brought all these parks to what they are today. And uh, what a team between um, Eisner and, and I, I believe it was Frank Wells. I'm pretty sure Frank Wells. A awesome, honestly, I think that was our last um, tag team. So like Walt had Roy, his brother. Where like Walt was the dreamer, and let's just do this, this, and this. And then Roy would say like, hey, let's reel it in a little bit. Here's what we can do, or maybe we can accomplish this, or let me call a friend or a favor. Eisner and Wells were the same way, but Wells was also just, he was a, 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 an awesome guy. He, he understood Eisner's vision, and maybe some things behind the scenes, he was like, we can't do it, but they made things happen together. Sadly, Frank Wells died. If you, there's a tribute to him over at Disneyland. But yeah, uh, Eisner did finish Epcot. I believe. I could be wrong. It's my own history. But I know a little bit. I could be wrong, but I know that Eisner really uh, brought Epcot to what it is today. And I know it's not the Epcot. Why'd you sorry. call me while I was live? I didn't know you were still live. I thought you were saying goodbye over there. No. Okay, I'm, I'm just sorry. talking facts. This girl's calling me while I'm live. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. But here I am. And then I looked over and I saw you and I was like, oh. We're just talking about the history of Disney. I'm getting all these questions. Oh. So we have a historian in the chat. She's challenging me oh wow you know a lot i know that's what i thought oh, you've been uh also alan came on the stream and said he would match any super chat or super sticker for the rest of the live stream Ooh. to which rosita responded I'll see you guys right now hey Hello. first of all you have to hit the like button jeez you have to tap right there <laughs> right, right there the, the right like there, button yeah. nice. where are you from what's your name and My you got to look into this camera how are you Matt, where are you from I'm from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Nice! Hey. We just passed by there with uh, I-95 collapse, yeah. sadly. Yeah. Um, I've never been on YouTube before. Yeah. Hey, you're on YouTube sure. right now. Are you a big Disney fan? I am, yeah, yeah. We come, we come pretty often. That's awesome. Yeah. Come down with uh, who you're here with. So I'm here with a buddy of mine, my wife, my daughter, and her friend. They're, they're, just enjoying they're, Japan. They're, they're pin yeah. trading somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's nice. awesome. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. How often, so are you a pass holder or are you like just come down and, and do the we, meeting we, states? Yeah, we just come down. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Once or twice a year. Nice. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, yeah we just uh, did a road trip from here up to New York. Okay. Uh, upstate New York. We're both from Long Island originally. We moved okay. down here four years ago. But we just did a whole thing. We passed through Philly twice. We love Philly. Yeah. yeah. We love, uh, yeah. we eat everything yeah, in the Ready corn. Market. Corn. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I love all the beers at Monk's. Uh, okay. Um, so, I'm yeah, here. he was uh, my buddy Dallas. He's sitting over there. He's. Uh, he actually lived in the city. We live in the suburbs, but nice. Yeah. We do those too. We, I mean, we like. I don't know. We love all of Pennsylvania. We've done. Yeah. I mean, just again from being from Long Island, I've been there a bunch. Poconos, lots of kids. But when we've been a couple, we've done Scranton together. We've done, yeah. but also the Oscars okay. of Philly, where we've done uh, a lot of Edgar Allan Poe stuff. We've done Eastern State Penitentiary. We okay. yeah. kind of spread as far as we could, and then a bunch of little small stuff. Again, we're we're craft beer drinkers, so we try to find cool little breweries. You heard of uh, you heard of Victory? Yeah, of course. Trogues. Oh, and, uh, we love Bridge. Yeah. Been to Victory, love Trogues. Um, one of my favorites, Little Breweries, I think it's just outside of Philly. It was Naked We're Brewery. Live right now. We're live on YouTube. Want to be in? Natalie, Aww. you know? You want to jump in? Jump Thank in. Say hi. My daughter, Natalie. Aww. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> Do you have any friends who watch YouTube? Want to say hi to anybody? Oh, yeah. Hi. Who's your best friend? She's here. Madison. She's here. Oh. Right there. Madison, you want to be on YouTube? We should say hi to Bree and Grace. Yeah. Hi, Brielle. Hi, Grace. Hi, Karen. Hi. Bree and Grace? I love it. Well, now they all have to come watch the video. Okay. Well, we're glad you popped in. <laughs> yeah, thank you very yeah, much. Of yeah, of course. We nice just meeting you guys. There. I saw your shirt. I figured yeah, out. I love it. I appreciate it. Nice, nice meeting you. new people. Nice to meet you. Too. Enjoy. Thanks, guys. Enjoy Disney. Yeah, we're there. Nice to meet you. 
Enjoy your Disney trip. Thank you. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Izzo coming in with the super chat for 25 bucks. Alan is going to be fired up. Love it. Let's so go back to that. So um, Alan said he would match all so of the super So we chat. got a super chat, and then we were talking about super chats, um, and he said, you know what? From now, and he looked at his watch and his phone. Okay. And said, from now until the end of the stream, I will match all super chats and donate the same amount as long as you give half to a charity of animals. I said, 100% that's that. fine because we, we lose a third to YouTube, but... At least I would love to. I love. I'm all about a charity thing. Yeah. So like, let's 100 percent give yeah, it all the so animals. Nice. Yeah. So we're gonna do it. Yeah, to a, some kind of local animal charity here in Orlando. And whatever we do, we will broadcast stream, do a short, so everyone sees it, knows it, and that it's happening. I love that. Yeah. So That's it's super so cool. We'll see if Alan. I mean, Alan is. I don't know if he's ready for this. Did you record him saying it though? It's live on the okay. stream. It's live on the stream. <laughs> so he is aware. But the show okay. is starting over oh, at yeah. America. We have to go. Okay, I need to get a beverage for that. Um, so I'm gonna go meet Alan over there. And get All right, I'm I'm gonna bring this over here. Here, look, can you take this? I'm just gonna go, I have to go to the opera really quick. Okay. Uh, if you want, you wanna facing you or away from you? Facing me, cause I- All right, everyone, uh, I'm gonna run to the opera. Lauren's gonna hold the camera, but we're gonna go see a live show in about a minute. Uh, see you in a minute. Facing you? Yeah. Okay. What do you want? Okay. Wait a minute. Can I um, interject here and buy a beverage? Also, does anyone know where my umbrella is? It's probably over there. With oh, the on that table. Okay. You want to tell them? What are we doing? We're buying the drink on the far right again. You want We're to buying the drink is? on the what? The far oh, on right. the far right. Okay. Okay. So it's the Annette one. really likes this drink. It's you can't even see it. You got to Oshi Yuzu drop. It's the what? Right. It's a popular drink. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. We well, also have a turkey, turkey leg. leg in the way, but <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's the drink. That's not a. It's that's not a great shot. That that should have been. Oh, that is it new? This is what Annette is getting. I'm sorry. You can go behind me. I'm just like in the way. Hey, Izzo. Yeah, this is a really, really good drink. Very light and fun. Go ahead. Um, can I get... I need two beers. Can I get a Kirin and a Sapporo? Yes, please. And whatever... And, oh, and then also this drink. Yeah, because I'm buying it for Annette. No! Yes! Thank you. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, I love that. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't need the receipt. Receipt. Destroy the evidence. <laughs> I don't need to know about that. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you hold this? Because I'm gonna have to hold this. This, if that's okay. No, whatever. It's the. It's the one. It's so good. It's so good. What is it? It's the one on that. The one on the far right. It's the drop. The, yeah. On that, on that little pamphlet thing. The one that's almost empty? Yes. Yep. That's Very why good. it's almost empty. It's, it's that good. It's light and it's delicious. Okay, I don't understand this thing, this device. You know, it is what it is. We're going to look at random people. I'm sorry. Maybe I should take the beer. Beer I know how to carry. It's, it's my job. Well, one of my jobs. <laughs> you have to supplement teacher incomes. Thanks. Oh, hey. hey. All right. Where's your husband go? He's taking them. Okay, because yeah, he wanted to go this way. Yeah, I, we were. We're going to America. Like Neil Diamond said, we're coming to America. We're coming to. Oh yeah, I need that. Today. Um, I'm I'm afraid for Alan. On the stream, he said he was going to match all super chats from. That point of the stream till the end. People are being very generous. We're giving half to an animal charity. There's going to be some money going to animal shelters. I love that. I love that. All right, let's drink this in America. You, can, you mind carrying it until we get there? Yeah. I'll drink it. I just don't have a hand. Yeah, uh, just pour it into my mouth. Yeah. We will. We absolutely will.
So for those who don't know, during uh, the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival, there is a live concert three. I'm like, I'm going. I think the group's following. And tonight, yeah, I know. That's why I was like, can we move? Um, weekends, they have the actual bands. During the week, they bring in local talent or some cover or tribute bands that are fantastic. So tonight is a tribute band to Journey and Foreigner. Yeah. So we're going to go check them out right now and rock out a little bit here in America. Here, Alan decided uh, was very nice. He was going to match 100% of all Super Chats from the time he was on the stream until the end of the stream. Does he know what he got himself into? I said that, and people have been generous so far. I mean, so far we got Rosita and Izzo, and there's been another one. I got to look as soon as I stop. I can't scroll because my hands are full, but I see we got one more. So, yeah, anyone who Super Chats stickers, Alan is matching your donation, and we're going to give half of all of that to an animal charity. <laughs> yeah. But here's my contribution. Happy you're back. Thank you so much, Shelly, for the super chat. Mike Amador in the house. Double vision. Hit refresh. We're going to switch to Wi Fi.
Package. It's so good they debuted this with the Garden Rock. He's dummy in the house. Once again, a big reminder if anyone out there wants to give a super chat, normally we don't ask, but we're having all super chats matched by Alan today and giving half of all Super Chats to a local animal charity here in Orlando. Feel free to donate. I never ask for Super Chats ever. But today's a good day for it. Good cause. The guitar player's killer. I'm only here for who let the dogs out. <laughs> Don't forget, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and if again, we are all Super Chats being doubled and donated to a local animal charity rescue shelter here in Orlando. That's a powerful draw. It's a powerful song, great group. Yeah! Don't you love the new 
video package for this festival. Where's Annette? Annette, Annie. Rachel, are, aren't the screens so much better than last year? The screens, like the lighting package and the screens. So much better. So much better. everybody we just switched back to Wi-Fi hit that refresh button let me know if it's better or worse
That is indeed Robert D leading the band. Dawn is so funny. Uh, there is rain starting to come in. You can see the trees starting to blow. We're getting a few raindrops. Don't know how long the stream will last for, but again, anyone who super chats will be doubled by Alan, and we're giving it to an animal rescue or shelter here in Orlando. So get those super chats in. I don't know how much longer we'll be live for, but now is your chance as we rock out here at the American Adventure. Super Chat said, for the shelter pets. I love it. Thank you, Don. Again, anyone who Super Chats, Island is doubling it for an animal shelter here in Orlando. Make it happen. We're keeping this stream live until we get rained out. The rain's starting to come in. You can see the branches blowing. It's so funny, Rosita. You can just walk normal.
Rosita, I agree. These sounds, these guys sound amazing. enjoyed a little foreigner's journey this group is getting a little crazy also the weather is getting a little crazy so we have a limited amount of time on this stream i'm having a ton of fun i hope you are too thank you so much for watching it means a lot to me if you're or if you're new or you haven't hit the like button consider subscribing maybe hit the like button it means a lot we're at 130 likes now it would mean a lot it would be very nice you know it's nice if you haven't heard, uh, I'm finally back in Orlando, as you can tell. We have our full road trip coverage coming out every few days. Tomorrow will be day two, or part two of our road trip in the morning, and then we're going live from Hollywood Studios in the afternoon tomorrow. Friday, we're gonna be at Magic Kingdom in Epcot. I don't know where we'll be live from. Maybe a double, maybe a single, who knows? But the only way to find out is to A, make sure you subscribe, turn on that bell, hit all notifications. B, I would jump in a Discord. We have an amazing community. It's completely free. You can join from your laptop, cell phone, iPad, any device. It's completely free. It's been a wholesome, beautiful community. Go check that out. And then uh, if you want to follow all the nonsense in between the streams and what happens after we turn off the camera tonight, follow my socials at official card on Instagram, at your WDW guy on Twitter, and at Adventures by Carney on TikTok. Also, if you're able to do so, and I couldn't have this channel without them, the Patreons. If you want to figure out or learn more about the Patreon program, patreon.com backslash Adventure by Carney. Um, I'm going to keep it going because it's not raining yet. And we still have, I think the, the group is still pretty semi-good, I think. Also love that the older sets are different. So if we can keep this party going until the next set, we'll come watch another set. I love live entertainment. Um, I love the Garden Rock series, even though a lot of the action people may know or may not know. They're just going to be set for live music, and it adds an element to the park, this party atmosphere. And this band right now, when you have bands like Foreigner's Journey, they hang out afterwards, they're taking pictures, signing autographs. It's a beautiful thing. I love stuff like that. But yeah, we're here at Epcot. I'm so happy to be back at Walt Disney World. Thanks again for everybody who stuck around. Let's see what's going on over here. I'll give everybody a fun fact about the American Gardens Theater is that between every show, you cannot stay in your seat. They will clear you out. So they're gonna be cleared out in a second. So I figure while they're talking, having some fun, I'll come bond full of you outside here uh, in the American Adventure. Let them talk, have some fun. But again, you're never allowed to stay in your seats between shows. They clear the theater completely and then reload the theater for every show. If you missed it, we started our stream earlier at the Rose and Crown. Uh, we are having some weather today in Orlando, but then we walked to America. We caught the last show, The Voices of Liberty. If you've never seen them, come right here. You'll see this as you're walking by. It's right between Japan, Italy to my left. And go check out The Voice of Liberty sign right here. They'll show you all the shows. There's also a sign right across that will show you the show. And then after The Voice of Liberty performances, you can go see The American Adventure, which is... Uh, a, they call it an epic theatrical event 
but it's got some of the best animatronics at Disney. Is it the most captivating? Maybe not, but if you're a history buff or if you want some air conditioning or just some time to sit and relax, it's around a 40 minute show and you could just relax in the theater. And then, again, you'll learn a lot about history. You'll get to take a load off. I kind of want to go do it right now. I love it. Uh, especially with all the historical things we've done over the last few days. Uh, Lauren and I have been to DC and uh, Philly and, and all these other places. I'm, I'm in such a historical mode. But anyway, going back to the Voice of Liberty, they're an amazing live act. They perform right here in the rotunda inside. And now you can bring beverages in. They used to stop you with drinks. You could bring your drinks in, get a good spot, sit on the floor, stand around, go check out the Voice of Liberty. Uh, if you don't think, or if you don't know what they're like, you can Google them. But also, I would recommend looking up Voctave, V-O-C-T-A-V-E. A lot of the Voice of Liberty are members of that group. You'll see very familiar faces and go watch their beautiful, beautiful versions of so many of your favorite songs. Voctive on YouTube. And this channel, please hit subscribe. It's a bit of a cloudy day here. Tyler, what's going on? Yes, yesterday was the last day of spring. Today's the first day of summer. It has been raining, but we're, we're catching good weather. I've, I've been staying so optimistic. Everybody thought it would be pouring this entire stream that we'd only have like 20 minutes of the stream. And now we have been live for about two hours and 20 minutes, which let's go. Feel free to share the channel. Again, come hang out with us in all of our different areas, like our Discord interact i have so many videos here in the past you can go check out and we have a lot of travel vlogs coming out from our road trip a little bit of everything and if you're a brewery fan or a craft beer there should be a lot of brewery content because lauren and i love to go find small local breweries on our road trips look at this group just sitting here just waiting how about the new lighting package love it Woo! Uh, also, if you missed it earlier, Alan, who's here hanging out with the group, uh, said he would double all Super Chats on today's stream, starting from when he said it, for the rest of the stream. And what we're going to do is we're going to give a large portion of that. We're going to give half of everything to a local animal shelter. And it'll probably end up being more than that because YouTube takes a third, so we're gonna still going to give half. I'll eat that part. But... It's an awesome cause. So thank you to Alan. And again, if anyone's able to, go Super Chat. It's fun. Um, you get to, I don't know, maybe 10% will go to us, but the rest will go to this amazing animal shelter charity. And we'll go film us giving it to them once we have a final number. So I don't know how much longer we live for, but if we're able to Super Chat or Super Sticker or everything like that, Alan's going to double everything. Kind of crazy. What else should we talk about? Are we caught up with the chat? Yes. Also, if you, you'll see it in our Discord, I'll, I'm going to bring this up for you, Izzo, is besides just our channel, I believe in supporting others. I think everybody wins. I think all ships rise in a high tide. So we have so many amazing people who have supported me in the very beginning who now have their own YouTube channel. So we have places like the Tomorrowland Traveler, Izzo's Place, and several others. If you jump on our Discord, we have a place called Promote Yourself. Go check out all their videos or go check out... I just named them. You can go check them out on YouTube, providing all kinds of content from Disney to just other fun videos. I like supporting everybody. I hope everybody succeeds. I don't know what they're doing over there. I'm also waiting for them to be cleared out. So this, there he is. Here we are. By the way, Hope says, Alan, did you know? Oh, I did not know. Uh, the electro syntho magnetic musical sounds of the show. Of this show? No, yeah. I did not. Yeah, Hope I wanted you to did know. Not. That's why she wrote Alan. Pete has something to tell you, and that was it. She, she's, she wants you to know. And that's fair because this show, I'm actually very ignorant about this show because I've, I've seen it a few times in different situations. But really, it's a lot of fun. It, it is a lot of fun, but I probably haven't given the attention that it needs. Free concert. You got to stop in, hang out, have a good time. But as an annual pass holder, sometimes we like breeze by it. 100% understand. And I 
should definitely give more attention to it in these situations. Absolutely. I 100% agree. I said this when I moved down here is that when you're on vacation, sometimes you have to breathe by but as an annual pass or someone who's local even if you're on vacation and you just want to take a nice sit the entertainment they provide here is fantastic if it's a cover band like this or if it's the, the real band, entertainment it's fantastic it's beautiful and they're not bringing in just anybody it's fun it's everywhere people dude. are dancing Lawrence dancing like, and nothing the mariachi right now. band in new mexico 100 percent amazing oh mariachi like, cobra yeah. as you go around like literally the showcase there are so many things that you can stop by and just the passive entertainment. I totally agree. That's the one thing we missed during the pandemic. They took all these things away and we were like, yes. bring them back. And now they're back. Because it's all live So we have to yes. enjoy them. Yes. Like, and some things we'll never have back. You, you remember the chair guys in France? Oh my. Yes. Yes. It's stuff like that. I love that. We have a younger China. Sergio. China. China. Yes. The dragon dancers, the acrobats. Yes. Uh, we have the a new Sergio in Italy. A new. Have you seen new Sergio? No. We have a new Sergio in Italy. Okay, so we have the Rosa Regale is coming then. Okay. Yep. Uh, All right. uh, you like limoncello? <laughs> of course. Okay. Look well, at me. All right, then we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Italy then. We're going. Ciao, Benny. Benny, where are you going? The dentist. All right, we'll see you after the dentist. We'll see you after Cheers. Cheers, Cheers bud. to the dentist. Hello. Yes. Hello, Governor. I showed everybody you dancing. Just didn't even stop stopping. You were still dancing. I'm like, she's still having a good time. <laughs> Whatever, okay? It's summer. I think we're summer headed vacation. to Italy. Italy? Italy. Alan said, are you a fan of Limoncello? I go, oh, we're a fan of Limoncello. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Okay. It's Look at every person with these hoopy I, I know. <laughs> Lauren's on summer vacation. She's a teacher, so we're letting her have fun. Well, I just told her, I go, I go, Alan is next for a friend, love cello. She was like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I my back laughing at that. So you have to do a fish. You have to do limoncello and rose regalia. And what? Yeah. Rose regalia. Rose regalia? Explain to Lauren what that's all about. Rose Let's zoom in. is a, do you like champagne? Yes. So it's similar Recycle. to a champagne. <laughs> well, it's similar. It's a sparkling wine, either way. Go ahead. Yes, yeah. it is sparkling. Just not from the region of Champagne, France. Well, yeah, but yeah. Prosecco, we're going to I know. Italy. Anyway, so. go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. And do you like sweeter when it comes to sparkling? I'm sweet enough, Alan, okay? <laughs> First off, it's been raining. Have you not melted yet? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's why I needed the umbrella, and I had to wait. Fair. Are you melting? We're enjoying this yeah. Tour. I'm melting. Melting. Talking about oh, what a world. What a world. We're talking about double fisting. By the way, guys, can we just do a little cheers to Alan? Because he said he would double all Super Chats. We're up to $195. Wow. Uh, with yeah. money going to the animal it? shelter. What, I said we're going to record us going to give it to him. We don't know which one it is because you just it came out of nowhere, so we didn't prepare for it. But uh, because, to be fair, I'm going to do it on camera, and we're going to give them the money in person oh, and make a video that. about it at the animal Absolutely. shelter that we go to. 100%. Or charity, whatever it is. Yeah, yes. Love that. But... This is it's, the guy who's uh, making it happen. Yes. This is the man right here, Alan. Cheers, Cheers. bud. Always. Oh, that's so sad. Recently. Yeah, it's sad over here. Uh, I appreciate the effort. What is that? Um, Beer. Probably an animal shelter with a bar. I think Sapporo. we're all going to. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, how dangerous would that be? Honestly, I'm thinking that's a great idea. No. Uh, patent this idea. Great idea or horrible idea? No, I think it's a great idea. Imagine you get to just hang out with a bunch of animals and pets, and all the money from the bar goes to the animals. People would go there over and How many people are going to get drunk and adopt a pet? Exactly. It's a win, 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 win. Agreed. Agreed. All the way. How's the dancing going? Uh, I'm not. I'm testing how it's going. It's going great. I will Good. Say, I need a beer. We're rotating. Uh, I agree to buy people. All right, let's go to Italy. Let's go to Italy. Yes. Italy. It's time to go to Italy. I agree to get uh, limoncello and rosemary. Okay, Dave G, fifty dollars. Oh snap! Absolutely. Thank you, Dave G. Or, oh, geez, it's still on me. Let's go. 
Yeah. We're rock and roll. I'll finish go. this. <laughs> One love. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone who's been enjoying the stream, hitting the like button, sharing, liking, subscribing. Driver, let us know. We'll show you some love here in the chat. If you're just a lurker, hey, we appreciate you guys too. Couldn't do it without you. Yeah, a lot of people just hang out. They don't chat. So I'll just turn it on and watch in the background while I'm doing the dishes or vacuuming or whatever it is. Then you should watch. Yeah, I should probably support people. Yeah, I'm great at it. As long as you have YouTube on, I'm in. Yeah, 100%. Soft pretzels and warm cheese. Look at that. Soft pretzels and warm cheese. I'm 100% in. I mean, that's pretty much what I've been working for my whole life. Yeah. Dave G, thank you so much. Ah, uh, the music has changed. We went from Foreigner's Journey to Italiano. First off, factual. But tip big, because it all goes with babies. Italy, where it's always misting. Recently, within the last two years, I've gotten two new beers here. Really? Yes. Let's go check out the menu. So you've gotten two new beers here. Italy used to be just Peroni. But they had two, like, two beers. Right Ooh, a Lemoncello Spritz? Well, let's see what else is on the beer menu. So, you have an amber and a regular lager. Love me some ambers. Uh, and they're delicious, by the way. But what I was talking Menabre. about... When I was talking about double fisting earlier, which you're going to do. Oh, okay. Great, yeah. and you're well, I'm going to finish do, this. I'll finish this. Yeah, we'll finish that because you're going to do a Rosa Regale and a Limoncello. Sweet, sassy, molassi. Maybe yes. we should split it. No, I'm just having beer, so I'll have a sip of fucking something. Fucking Louie Nye. Oh! Oh, uh, this is Italy. Here it is. X, he's on a five-minute timeout. Five-minute timeout. The man is donating to charity, so we'll make it three minutes. Three minute timeout. Oh, geez. WWWD. What would Walt say? That was Walt. What would Walt do? do? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. WWS. Or WWWDD. What would Walt Disney do? A lot of initials. So much fun. So many W's. Would be so much fun in script. Whoa! I love that everyone else looked like, what should we be seeing? Like, what's happening over here? Are they setting off fireworks? Okay, you can help. No, I'll have a little sip. Me? I like it. I, I know. I'm, that's why I'm taking a slow time, but I still want to try it. I'm saying for the alcohol. I'm saying for the sweet. Uh-huh. Whiskey the thumb. Yeah. Oh, However, we're going to see how many people get. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, why, where are we going? Oh, Italy. Can I text Andy and say what? We're here. Um, she texted Andy. He went to the opera in America, but now we've moved to Italy. What do you want me to say? Say, hey, we're in Italy. I'm going to walk over here. Look how beautiful. During Flower and Garden, it's just so gorgeous. Come here and just take pictures all day. I mean, yeah, the attractions are amazing. But it's just so beautiful everywhere you look. Look at this bridge. A great family shot there.
You can hear the band playing over in Canada right now. You'll see the scaffolding off the uh, Canadian Pavilion. They're doing a little refurb there. They're also doing a refurb of the UK bathrooms. We mentioned this earlier. So they opened up the restrooms inside the American, uh, not the American, the World Show Place. But look at these skies. We are in between systems. For the record, let's say that uh, my optimism might have paid off. It was supposed to be pouring rain the last three hours. And it did pour rain for about 30 minutes. And then it just, you know, it drizzled a little bit. But we've seen not too bad. Just a light spritz, if you will, most of the day. However, tonight they say we're <laughs> real rain. Here, there's a kind of a crazy breeze right now, but it feels amazing. But I'm going to give you a moment of zen here because this, with this music and this view, is one of my happiest places. It's now or never. Come hold me tight. Kiss me, my darling. Be mine tonight. For tomorrow. Will be too late. It's now or never. Double super chats won't wait. Thank you so much, Rosita. You are amazing. Thank you for all your support tonight. Again, big shout out to Rosita. We are uh, one of our biggest supporters here in the super chat. And again, today, all super chats are being doubled by Alan and we're giving them to an animal shelter here in the area. We'll record us giving them the money and go to a local animal shelter or charity. So if you're able to and you want a chat or a super sticker or anything you give today will be doubled by Alan and we're giving at least half, if not more, to a local animal shelter. Thanks again to everybody who's contributed. It's been really awesome. Love stuff like that. I never ask for super chats. For If you're new here, it's not something we do. I appreciate them and I love them. But today is... Because Alan said he would double all of them, we're doing it. And honestly, big shout out to the Patreons because they are actually the ones who keep the channel going throughout the entire year. Uh, and just some of the best, most beautiful people who support the channel. Sergio, you got to come see the new Sergio. If you uh, haven't been here in the last year or so, year and a half, we have a younger Sergio, and I think he's fantastic. It's sad that we don't have the old one anymore, but, you know, good things come and go. I'll be devastated when we lose Yeeha Bob. Uh, not, like, lose-lose him, but when he retires from performing because he's so good. But as Walt said, you know, the parks are always evolving, always moving. Where are we headed? Oh, and I'll take a Castillo. What are you drinking? What is it? What is it? Oh. Yeehaw. <laughs> hey, he's got to get you a cowboy hat. Yeehaw. What's going on in here in the Anotego Castillo? Chubb, man. Oh, Oh, what is this? Limoncello. Oh boy. Uh, uh, Mary Kate or Annette, do you want limoncello? Oh, there's well, enough. Lauren? It's all coming. 
For everyone. You're not giving you. What? <laughs> now you're on camera. What? I'm just asking if anyone <laughs> wants yeah, any. Just making sure everybody's included, and we love that about I'm you. I'm an includer. We love that about you. Exactly. But trust, you're included. Oh, I am happy to be included. I'm happy to be here. Just a. Yes, yes, exactly. Perfection. You just mean an additional shot glass. That's what I said without all those words. Oh. We're not doing it as a shot. See, she's Italian. Francie noticed. We're not doing a shot. This is like beautiful. That's what I was talking about. Yes. Just sip it. Cheers and sip. Hey, what do you say? How do you, what do you, how do you say cheers in Italian? <laughs> no. I don't think that's right. No, how do you say it? How do you say it? Salud. Oh, salud. 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 I, I appreciate it. I was going to say how do you say that? Oh, no. Hey, Napolitan. Ragot. Prajut. You just say things and leave the vowel off. Ah, uh, regot. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Sauce. Sauce. Gravy. No gravy, no gravy. You're on timeout. You're on timeout. Lauren's on a timeout. Lauren? 60 second timeout. Lauren's on a timeout. Lauren's on a timeout. I'm so happy. Alan can stay. Lauren must go. I'm gonna say I've done great. Really. Oh, you have been excelling today. I'm feeling great. Never happened. This is why I felt like I was a bad person to that place. Are you guys? Alan had three walkaways. Lauren's up to one. Uh, but he's good now, and Lauren is 60 second timeout. You have to go touch another country and come back. Germany or America. Bye. No. Wow. I'm Anglo Saxon, you can touch me. Take care. That's another country. I'm another country, baby. There it is. She's such another country. That's why I miss it. It's like Texas. Texas is its own country. We're like, what country am I? There wasn't anything good. See what I tell you. I get more punished than you. No. We did everyone gets the same. Every time in the middle of it. They're like I got the I whole didn't say anything. Like, I said, five. Oh, it must be an Italian word. Sounds like a soup. Thank you. That's right. I love straddling California and Washington. Ain't that right? Uh, grazie. Grazie. Prego. So, how do you so when a woman is pregnant in Italy, do you just say you're welcome? <laughs> you would just say prego. Bring it inside. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come on, it's also a sauce. Good. Yeah, it's I'm good. Not I, I'm, not, I'm not mad at you, Sora. Uh, you know what? What happens on a live video? I'm just disappointed. You know what? They can't all be winners. I didn't design the language. Wow, my mom is watching. Could you please? She's like, she and she's like, she's right. Or? She's not like. I'm just kidding. She's not watching. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like, my mom would support me. Like, <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> If I want to watch my YouTube channel, I'd be like, hey, my die tonight, and send a link. I mean, you have been shocked. And cheers. That makes sense, yes. Let me try this lemoncello. I'm just trying to say. This is good. Would you like a sip? Yeah, that's what actually is a. Lady in there, so. Super like, That's, it it That's a very good lemoncello. And it should be sipped. It should not be chugged. 
because that would burn your throat, but slowly sipped. It's like a dessert running over your tongue. Um, I don't know if you've ever had like a lemon sorbet or a lemon ice, but like imagine that. Just perfect running over your tongue slowly. I went over and had to go to the bathroom really bad. Mm. So I went down the left mm -mm. side. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. And it's like everybody was in line. Okay, whatever. Just stand there. But he's my job. About to head back out. Yeah, Hope, I see. You're good. I think I think you do what we get for him. Yeah. Suzanne says, give Lauren the floor. Yikes. Why? What are we going to do? I don't know. I will. Tell us. What are you going to do? Hey, hey, hey. I'm sure anyone who's been in Italy is like, yeah, they play us in the streets all the time. <laughs> yeah. No, they're like, come on in for bread and wine, but make sure you dance to this song. Made by a few guys from New Jersey. This is so your vibe, so shut it. Exactly, because it sounds like it's just emanating from New Jersey. Sad news, my husband's flight has been delayed. No! No, but you know what? No, we want him to be we want him to be safe. But we want ha we want him to be safe and Ray to stay. So this is a win-win. Why take chances? Ham safe Ray stay. All right, I mean, we're starting a chant. Okay. This is the, this is the group that everybody hates in Epcot. Like either way, with the delay. Okay. Yes, and tomorrow. We have him ready. That's so funny. Either way, we can delay the stay. Uh, let's take a vote. Yay or nay? Nay. <laughs> Thank you. So let's just have a little chat. Actually, let me take my. Feels it. Have my little tiny bit left. I probably will end up um, killing this live stream shortly because, again, we don't want to be that group. I really love supporting Disney and uh, healthy, fun stuff, family-friendly streams, and just lots of fun. And we're having lots of fun, 100%. But it's in that point, right? I think that's fair. So I will give them the opportunity to say goodbye, but I want to give all of you an opportunity one more time because, uh, again, Alan's being very generous, and I would love to donate more money to an animal show. And I obviously I'm gonna throw in money too. But anyone who super chats or super stickers or anything like that in the stream in the next uh, let's say five minutes before I kill it, Alan's gonna double that and we're gonna give that to an animal shelter or an animal rescue here in Florida. And we'll go do a video there as well. So if we're able to donate, please do so in the next 10 minutes. In that meanwhile, uh, if you missed any of the other promotions. We're going to be live tomorrow at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We'll be live Friday, either from Magic Kingdom or Epcot or both. Tomorrow morning is also our part two of our road trip. We'll be dropping on the channel. We'll watch it live with you. So make sure uh, you have the bell on. I also always post on Discord whenever I'm about to drop a video or go live. So make sure you're in the Discord. It's an amazing community. I'm so... It's like one of the things I'm most proud of. Like, yeah, I turn on the camera. We go live at Disney. We make all these crazy videos. I'm a big red-faced man doing crazy things, but it's just amazing the community we built. We have so many fantastic, good people in our community, and I'm just so proud of that. And, uh, and it's nothing to do with me. I'm just very lucky. So go check out our Discord. If you want to follow the socials, I'm at official Carney on Instagram at your WDW guy. Uh, Adventures by Carney is the TikTok, the Patreon, and the Discord link is down below. We put it up top. It's been a crazy day. I mean, honestly, I'm just still lucky it hasn't rained. Look at Spaceship Earth behind me, as you guys call it, maybe the big golf ball or the icon of Epcot right there. We're hanging out in Italy. I'm gonna give it another few minutes. I'm gonna go say goodbye to them, let them all say goodbye, come back over here and say goodbye. But if anyone wants to do a last minute super chat again, it's being doubled and given to a local animal charity or shelter or whatever, give that money on camera so you know it's legit. Uh, 
I also just want to say thanks so much to everybody. It's been a crazy... Okay, we're back. I was about to say something nice. Is that I just feel so fortunate uh, for everyone who still watches... Uh, all the new subscribers, everyone who's hit the like button, all the Discord people, and of course, all the Patreons. And, and everyone who just stuck around and stayed by my side. We've had a few crazy weeks going back to April. Uh, my father had health problems. And we had this amazing Adventures by Carney meetup, but also the DAC 25th. And it was such an awesome, amazing weekend. It wasn't ideal for me timing-wise because of all my father's health problems, but you guys were just so amazing, so supportive, and I owe all of you so much and i'm so grateful and thankful for this channel it really i never ever would have thought that this could mean more than just having a youtube channel but it's really just developed into this amazing community like i said i don't know what i would have done without a lot of you throughout the end of april early may when my father passed and we have had a lack of content throughout this entire process and then these last three, three weeks with us being on the road because that was planned before my father passed and we extended it by five days because it was my brother's first father's day uh with our new nephew um and my father passing without him for father's day so we want to spend father's day together so i just want to say thank you it really has meant the world to me i'm so grateful to have this we have a lot of fun we joke around we're a bunch of maniacs um some days like i said i'll be out here by myself giving you fun facts and heartfelt stories and all this other stuff but other days like this we're maniacs. We're having fun at Walt Disney World. We show you all these different sides of Disney. And it has meant so much that that this even exists. That people are here watching right now or watching in the future. Uh, whether it's leaving a comment, jumping in the Discord, or social media. I'm so grateful. So thank you so, so much. I'm going to go back and give everyone a chance to say goodbye. But I just wanted to say personally... I know it's been a struggle, and if you're still subscribed and you're still watching and still sharing and still talking about this channel, it means a lot to me. So thank you. Sincerely. And now you're going to get what you deserve because now the content train is back on the tracks, and we're going to have so much coming your way. I hope you're ready. And share with your friends. Leave comments. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, consider it. I get it. It's not for everyone. And if you are not a patron and you want to become one, go check that out. We do have a Zoom call coming up next week. And uh, I have a bunch of exclusive Zoom content that I just need to edit throughout this entire road trip that I can't post publicly, but, you know, for my, my page rounds, you're going to get it. All right, let's go say goodbye to them. Again, if you have, uh, you have about three or four more minutes, if there's any other Super Chats, they will be doubled by Alan, and we're going to give it to an animal shelter. Hope, I got you covered. Don't worry. You don't have to post it a million times. I got you. We love you, Susan. Also, we have the Suzanne and Glenn beer tasting video coming out next week as well. Uh, we might stay till fireworks, but it's also going to rain very hard, and this is going to become a scene. And also, the group might be a little not suitable for a live stream. And we like to keep everybody um, pretty family friendly when we can. So let's go say goodbye to everybody. We'll say goodbye to you, and uh, I'll see you in the Discord. You can follow my socials for us tonight. I'll post on Instagram, and we'll go from there. All right, let's go do it. Wow, Andrew C. actually here. People were asking, where have you been? All right, everyone, you want to say goodbye? It works anywhere. It works anywhere. Hi, Ants Art. Andrew C. in the house.
Seaham Vlogs. Hi, how are you? And a thanks again to Dave G uh, for that last minute super chat. means a lot. I think we're going to end the stream right here. We're just overlooking. By the way, how beautiful is this? There's no barges anywhere here at Epcot. It's gorgeous. All right. We already talked about it. I love you guys. I'm so happy that we got to spend some time together today. We're back again tomorrow at Hollywood Studios. We're back again Friday. We're doing a double park day. So we might be either Magic Kingdom or Epcot or both live streaming. And tomorrow will be a double video. So we'll be live at Hollywood Studios in the afternoon. But in the morning, you're going to see part two of our road trip. So make sure you subscribe. You got the bell on, hit the notifications. I'll also put it in the Discord and all that other fun stuff. So come watch that with us. We'll watch it live. Jess, thanks so much. She said, have a great stream. Have a fun rest of your night. Uh, Suzanne said, yay, no Stargate. Yeah, look how beautiful this is. Dave says, beautiful. Great to see T-Ham. Uh, thank you, Izzo. Everyone who's chatted, everyone who's contributed, everyone who's been a part of today's stream, thank you. It takes a village. We are a community, and this uh, we're a big, happy family. If you ever see me here in the parks, come say hi. I'll give you a big hug, unless it's too sweaty. We'll give a high five. I love all of you. Please do me a big favor. Be kind to one another. That's it. I'll see you real soon. Have a fantastic evening from Epcot on this wonderful Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow.